right, we are live. So good morning, everybody. This is the 1879 Actual Play. I am Brad Decker. I'm the line developer for 1879. And everybody else can go ahead and sign off. Or sound off, I think, is what I was looking for. Yeah, that probably was what you were looking for. Hi, I'm Chris. I play a uh, mage. And that mage's name is Waymond. Hi, I'm Joel. I'm one of the 1879 writers, and I play Morgana, who is an aristocrat. I'm Lexi. I play a my Elven Explorer. And I'm Michelle and I play August, an Elven Investigator. Sorry for the desktop noise. My dog is bumping stuff onto the table. But, okay, well, that's the sound off. Who wants to cover where we were last session? Brad does. Good job, Brad. Thanks for I can't there. do it because I'm opening documents. And i got to post the announcements for everybody to get people in here. Oh. Okay, Joel going to go through the list. Give me a moment. I'm just finishing a muscle of donut. Um, so we have been investigating thefts from, or robberies from a high-end London jewelers. We have discovered an awful lot of suspicious behavior and apparently the ghost of the current owner's grandfather really got upset when we revealed that one of the things we found is that their money and accounts guy has been laundering money. I seem to recall we planned not to mention that on this visit to the office, but hey-ho, right. here we go. <laughs> Especially because the grandfathers who hired him and brought him into the company to begin with. But yeah, we had suspected, yeah, yes. Mad. He he did seem pretty mad in a spectacular Fabulous poltergeist um, special effects sequence. Lots of broken glass. Lots of ducking. A certain amount of swearing. Which reminds me, due to you two being something or other that I can't say, I'm going to try very hard to watch what I say. We have, during this got the assistance of James, a medium, who has helped us talk to the ghosts, or at least commune with them. He is distinctly odd, but that's mostly because he's always talking to people who are dead. And I believe you guys noticed that he may actually magnify the dead's abilities when he's around. Had you noticed that? Is it just me? They do seem to be more active when he's about, that's for sure. But that might just be because they've got someone who can hear. Oh, yes, and throwing things across rooms and whatnot. I mean, I guess that's true. Maybe he was just more active because he was that mad. And, and the poor guy has nothing to do with it. So what else happened? I think you guys were going to try to find Mark's house. You had his address, and I believe you guys were headed there. Because it was still somewhat daylight, and the shipment 
isn't coming in until evening, correct? That sounds about right, and he appears to have done something of a runner after a confrontation yeah. where we said we suspected some foul play financially, but that was before we'd collected the evidence against him. Yeah. But it does make his shirtiness in that meeting but much believe, more explicable. But I believe that the... Who was it was who, who was in the meeting? Um, I think, was it Morgana and... Um, no, it was August Waymont were in the meeting August with him that morning. Weymont was in it. And they were pretty, pretty to the point that he was not being honest, no matter how much he denied all of that. He was being just awful as what he was being. He, he was being a bit of a jerk. He was. But they I were fairly so Just said that you found out that he's been, you know, embezzling for a long time. So he might not have been happy that he'd been found out. That's probably not the sort of thing you're happy to be caught for. Yeah, not really. I, I, I believe the, uh, the parlance is rumbled. All right, so you guys were headed over to find Mark, going to Mark's house. Yes, and possibly getting in contact with the taxi firm that had picked him up to see if we could track down where he'd gone to. Yes, because that, they knew exactly which taxi, so if you go down there, they'll know which driver, which isn't far from where you guys are at. And we're going to decided not to ask about her relatives at this point. At this point, it'd be interrupting the case, and she's trying to be professional about this, as best she understands the concept. <laughs> and I think that you guys said that James could go home, because he was tired. I believe that is the case, yes. <laughs> He's weird and tired, and creepy stuff keeps happening around him. So... I do not believe he would be overly useful where we are going. Uh, probably not, no. Unless we need something to blow up. Well, then you have to have a, some sort of spirit there that wants to blow up, maybe. Yeah, but yeah, this is London. I don't think that's hard. <laughs> yeah, he might actually have one just hanging around him often. As somebody else found out. And sat in their chair. So, you guys go to the taxi service. They have zero problems with telling you where the driver went. Um, where the, at least the driver was hired to go to, which is the home address, which you also have a copy of. However, he must have kept the taxi because the taxi's not back yet. And if he left when he supposedly left, if he just went to his house and came straight back, the taxi would be back by now. So this does bring up a question, Mr. Brad. Can they keep track of their taxis? Because it's not like they have cell phones or, um, you know, GPS. No, they wouldn't have a wireless method of really being able to do it unless somebody was trying to invest in a spell, and that would be a lot of money for yeah. that type of maintenance. So, so I doubt that they would do that. So they don't. I didn't think so. So what I was going to say is, so they don't know where he's at, but he hasn't checked back in, which means that he's probably still with Mark. Or he picked up some other fare on his way back. But usually, because, you know, where Mark's house is, they're not getting a bunch of taxi service out there that's not pre-called in, come get me at this time type of thing. Because it's a nicer neighborhood. And so you don't see a lot of people just wandering around trying to flag down taxis, cabs, steam cab, steam, steam cab, coach cabs, steam coach cabs. That's the thing, they, right? They would have steam coach cabs, yes, and they would have horses, horse drawn yeah. stuff. Speaking of, I which would... type went to go get him? Steam coach. Okay. They're faster. They're also the type that I can control remotely if I have to. That is a thing. But in this case, apparently Mark likes them because they're faster and then they don't take up time that he could be doing something. 
Well, they have to go the same speed when they're within the city limits, but if he's slightly outside well, the city limits, then it's fine. He is a bit outside the city limits, and also, you know, laws are written one way and done in other ways. Granted, yes. And and the one that Mark tends to, you guys would be able to find this out pretty easily. The, he'll, Mark will pay the drivers if they can get him there faster, usually. So their tip increases depending on how... Yep, no that, one's dead, but they get there quicker. Yep, and that is totally a thing that would happen, so... Yeah. It is absolutely... It still happens. What are you talking about? Well, yeah, but... It still <laughs> happens. It still happens. So, yes. Mark does not care so much about speed limits. Apparently, with very little questioning, other drivers who might be waiting for fares would be happy to say things like, he'd even pay for the tickets if they get ticketed. Because the money wasn't the issue, using up his time was. It's very, you know. He's a very self-important man. Kind of. But he's also, but usually where he's going has something to do with the business. Matter of fact, everybody give me some sort of social, if you have conversation or some sort of social role. Because believe it or not, people talk around capsi drivers and staff a lot without necessarily thinking about who they're saying what to, if that makes sense. Kind of like bartenders and talking in front of the maid. People don't think about what they said. I've got Streetwise. Streetwise will work. I'll take it. Cool. I got nothing, so I'll... Uh, am I rolling just like straight perception or is this more of a charisma thing? It's more charisma based. Okay. Basically, me... you're trying to chat up. You're trying to chat them up. Yeah, no, no gotcha. I just want to make sure I'm going at it with the right angle. That's fine. A, a 20 for Morgana. On oh, conversation. Morgana. On conversation. Wow. You can tell who our so face well, character gonna... is. That's going <laughs> to push right there. Um. Mm. Nine on Streetwise. Nine on Streetwise? Okay. Fair dab all, all I'm good is etiquette. If you'd like me to roll some etiquette, I can roll no that thing. Etiquette. There's etiquette for how cabbies and th stuff speak to each other. It's a Cab different... etiquette. Yeah, why not? I mean, if you've ever noticed things like nurses, there's an etiquette there. Teachers, there's an etiquette. I got nothing. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't even bother with that. All right, so I've got a streetwise, and I've got a twenty on conversation. Anybody else throwing in? And I got a two on charisma. You got a two? <laughs> Wait a second! Doesn't that the lowest you can get? <laughs> no, you can. Like... You can get a one. Yeah. <laughs> I got so a four. Literally, literally, one person just side eyes River and takes three steps away. No. <laughs> <laughs> just sorry. Who got what now? What was the last one? River probably went to go talk to their horses if they have horse-drawn carriages as well. Because <laughs> they, they might have All right. So Excuse uh, me, I was uh, talking I'm... to the horse, not to you. <laughs> that gets you an even worse look. <laughs> More steps away. Okay, who else was there after River? <laughs> we'll make sure to catch everybody. Well, as I say, I got three on etiquette. Three. Uh, yeah. You might as well go stand over with River. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm day. not. Re I'm not really. Uh, <laughs> I'm it's not okay. really used to talking so, with this kind of class of people. The the uh, streetwise and the charisma were in that eight nine range. You're getting a lot of. Not so much self-important, but very business-oriented. On the 20 on conversation, it becomes really, really obvious to you that it was, if it's just like he's going home because he's tired, he didn't care so much about how quick they were. When there's something that happens within the company, all of a sudden, and it's been like that for years, sort of, until recently, the last few years, there was like something that happened and that drive in him to 
be and do everything for the company just seemed to break. I mean, he became fairly bitter, and it was about the time that Eddington's dad died. And Eddington took over the company. But before then, yeah, it was never about him as much as it was about the company. So, so he was... Yeah. Go ahead. Was he expecting to inherit? Or be the next head of the company, perhaps? You had the 20, right? Yes. In their opinion, the ones that are talking about it, he expected to run the company because... The older brother had gone off into the military and is somewhere on the other side. Like, they know all this shit. Like, they, most of these cabbies have ran for the executives and the companies for years. Some of the older ones especially, right? The older brother went into the military and had no interest. Eddington had been kind of a bit of a, not ill-behaved, but a bit of a lost soul. Like, his brother was going to take over the company and he just never really knew what he was going to do with himself. And then all of a sudden, his brother's not coming back home out of the military. And then dad got sick and died within a few months, right? And no one really expected him to decide to take over. Everyone, including Mark, was thought that Mark would be running the company. And to a degree, he still kind of was. Except Eddington seems to have an actual want to learn and have opinions. And no one really expected that from Eddington. They just kind of figured he'd continue to be kind of a, not quite Lord, but I don't want to call him um, like a playboy because he's not going out being drunk and gambling and things like that. But he was just kind of lost in the wind and didn't really know what he wanted to do. And so he went to... What were we calling it? His mother was a, um, who'd go to, like, you know, she was luncheons and, you know. Oh, a lady who lunches. Yeah, the, the, he kind of was following in his mother's footsteps where he helped with galas and charitable events and didn't seem to have a Philanthropist. Direction. Yeah, he kind of dabbled in that and just didn't seem to know what he wanted. And then when his dad got sick... He was very, you know, there with his dad, and no one really expected him to decide to settle down and actually try to run the company. Yeah, I think Morgana would actually really understand Eddington in a lot of respects. You know, yeah. Eddington was not actually pushed to do or be anything. You know, he's not the first son. You know, first son's going to take over the family business. But then first son didn't do that. He went to the military, which is kind of something that second sons would do. Eddington's not really military material, to be honest with you. He's kind of a softer soul, you know. And religion might have been a path, but doesn't seem to have really been his path and he just kind of didn't know where he fit in he's not really a lord right because their family's wealthy and knows a lot of lords but they're not technically a lord yes morgana will be finding a lot of parallels between eddington and her brother because who is currently missing um because there are certain similarities in how Eddington has life has been and her her surviving brother's life has been. So Yeah. But for for Mark, what you're getting is is that Mark's always been a very serious guy. He'd been basically running the company for a while as the dad's health got worse. And you don't know what was said between the dad and Mark. But Mark seemed to have been under the impression that, yeah, Mark would be running the company. Now, was that because the dad had promised this? Was that because the dad was like, well, 
with first son off in the wind and Eddington doesn't know anything, right? Like, you don't know. We weren't there. The cabbies weren't there, but they'll tell you that there was like, like almost, Mark didn't just like mourn, you know, Eddington's father. Mark seemed to have mourned the loss of who he was and how he fit into the company that had been his entire life for decades. Mark's not married. He doesn't have children. All of his everything has been put into the company. Which makes an incredibly strong motivation for suddenly starting laundering money and such. It does. Mm. But I will say it does not necessarily lead one, and I think some of you discussed this last time, it's not as strong of a motivation for stealing from the company, though. I think some of you talked about the, but it would bring a lot of undue attention to the stealing because now people are looking at it, into things, right? And I think the other thing that you guys brought up was, yeah, it was, was I think that. The other thing that you might be thinking about at this point, maybe, I don't know for sure, is that he built the company. Stealing from it, skimming off the top hasn't really hurt, hurt the company, but these thefts have hurt, hurt the company. Now, I'm not going to say whether that means he's involved or not, but I will say that I remember you guys were talking about having some questions about whether or not he was. Well, the question is if he would have a motive to harm the company when he's skimming off the top. Right. So, potentially, but... You know, I suppose that would depend on what, depend on what his overall plan was. Um, is there anything anybody else thinks we can gather here? Because I think we were go next going to head to his house, which supposedly he's still at. Hmm. Well, yes. or at least him and the cabbie, the cabbie hasn't returned. So he's either still at the house or he's gone from the house in that same cab somewhere else. But the cabbie hasn't returned yet. I think we should head to his house. Mm. He may have been there and gone already, but there might be something left. Right. Well, <laughs> but the, yeah, we can at least follow and see what he's turned up. Uh, before we leave, do they have a list of like the places where he's gone that they can pull up for us, like a logbook? Um, and with the, it would take a long time. They're not very sophisticated in their logbook to go through it. However because of the conversation role earlier, you can actually get that from a lot of the cabbies or at least the majority of places. Most of the places he goes is the uh, docks. I, I, was, the I, I was specifically going to ask for something that I could do an eidetic memory on, but okay, no, that's fine. They, I mean, if you want to take the time to look through the records, but their records are literally file cabinets. Yeah, no, no I, don't, I don't want to take that. Just if they had a, like a logbook for the company... Yeah. That you like no. that they kept records, then yeah, I would just look at that. But no, that that's fine. That answers my question. Okay. They are um, a little chaotic in their record keeping, um, but the most parts that he goes to are from his house to the office. Um, there's the warehouse and the docks, and there is a gentleman's club, which does not mean the same thing that modern Americans think gentleman's club means. It actually is a club where gentlemen go, and drink and smoke cigars and talk business and stuff. Yep. Papes um, and he's very, whatnot. Yeah, that he's very fond of. And that's the majority of the places that he goes. In a lot of respects, it, 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 his, the company was his life. So they will happily give you, and you can memorize all the addresses because they can write down the addresses for you and you can memorize those. Uh, okay, yeah, I can get that but but, but i mean but if it's just addresses that's not hard to yeah. look at so i don't need to yeah. memorize they it they can write it on a piece of paper you can write it down like it's not hard yeah. um morgana is going to ask politely if they could when the cabbie returns get where he was taken to 
because that means at least if we completely lose the trail, we have a chance of getting something back. Absolutely. There's no problem with that. We're not going probably in a position where we can go, we're going to be here, send us a runner when he, when he gets back. And not tell Mark that we're looking into yes. this info. <laughs> well, yes, but hopefully by that point, the, um, the, the cabbie will have abandoned Mark somewhere or dropped yeah. him off. I, I, I would like technical a, term. some sort of role on getting them not to tell Mark because these guys have worked for Mark for a very long time. Well, yeah, but they were hired by the company and the company told them to work right, with us, didn't but they? People don't have people don't bond with companies, they bond with people. So anybody have something to think of that might be a good role to convince them not to tell Mark? I, I can know. do conversation again. I'm gonna look at Morgana because I ain't doing it. <laughs> I mean, I conversation, or running, a conversation might work because what you're trying to do is you're trying to talk them into no but really for the most part other than tips you are paid for by the company please have loyalty to the company rather than the person who you actually saw and talked to so we can we can try for that what do you got for me give him out Twenty-one. Nice. Yeah. Darn. But yes, it seems like they're in agreement that, you know, if for no other reason than their boss is watching them, and the boss knows that the money comes from mostly from the company, so they have agreed that they are not going to specifically tell Mark. And if they come back, they'll keep a record and let you guys know where Mark went and if Mark uses them again. Morgana will hand over, ha hand out a few shillings around as, you know, as tips and thanks for their assistance. And they appreciate it. I mean, a lot of what they make is on tips, so they're happy with that. They, you know. Yeah, I, I think at this point the the matter is more. Do you want to keep getting money from the company? Because I'm pretty sure Eddington won't be happy if he finds out that you're helping that the guy embezzling for him, from him. Yeah, poor Eddington was just is very shocked about everything. He he was needing a moment to process all that when you guys left. You guys head over to Mark's. Do you want to catch a cab since you're right there with the cab people? I mean, we probably should since he's outside of the city. Yeah, it's not far outside the city, Seems but bad. he has um, what it would a small estate outside the the noise of the city. It takes a about 45 minutes to an hour unless Brad wants to tell me I'm absolutely crazy wrong I mean it just depends on where he would be um do you want but, to try to bring up some maps of London with some ideas I mean well north or south suburbs because I can pull those up south okay one second let me get to because I have to pull up the actual files do, are you on the roll 20 thing? Did we ever get everybody on there? No, I don't think we ever I established anything 20. with it. How do I... Well, okay. I mean, because I can pull the map up in Discord. Oh, okay. I wanted to be able to put it on the screen for people. You can do that. Though. Yeah, I can do that. I got I got the tools, so... We have the hmm. technology. Okay. Oh, well. The roll we all 20 know I don't understand that. Good idea. I have it up. I even has uh, the... The background that Brad made for us. Well, we're working on the... You just need everybody's email addresses, and I'll add you guys to it later. Well, we're we working on the... Through. What is it? The Forge? Or Foundry? We're working on the Foundry. Ooh. I've not yet played with it yet. I have. have... I can tell you lots of things about Foundry. Okay. Foundry is great. Be... Would that be some place to try to put the game somewhat for putting pictures and images up across the table? Absolutely. Okay, can can you help me with that? Because I'm technology done. Well, Foundry has lots of mods in it, so it can do almost anything, really. But uh, uh... So most of the time, because I've used um, Roll20, and um, River there can attest to this, most of the time what you get is I might type on a blank screen or draw with um, like arrows and stuff. I am not very tech-savvy. I've had people tell me that you can do all this stuff with making maps and lighting, and I'm like... 
Players never go the way you wanted them to, so spending three hours making a map in fancy lighting seems like a bad plan and a waste of my time. Yes, so I, I have used several map programs, and uh, I have found a way that I can make maps in about five minutes. Really? I'm learning yes. one. I'm learning a new program uh, called Incarnate. Ah, Incarnate, yes. That's the one that costs five dollars a month. Yeah, or like 25 bucks for the year, and it's like, cool, and then if I make a map that we want to put in a thing. Apparently, I have commercial ability to do that. Well, I used a whole bunch of different map programs, tested them all out, basically. Mm -hmm. Incarnate's pretty good. Dungeon Alchemist is great. Okay. Just great. And it even has a thing where you can uh, export a file out of it, which plugs directly into Foundry and gives you the walls and all that automatically. So there are the South Suburbs in the game chat. So the other thing that I found that is cool with the Incarnate one is that I can make little like icons of trees and building, and I can put them into it. Okay, so you guys are... And let me check on the stream. Yeah, they can, we can see the map on the stream, yeah. so we're good. So... Suburbs south, so that's Merton, Croydon, the Bexley over that way. And up here, this blue would probably be near the docks and stuff. So I yeah, because you, you've got the, the, the blue strip kind of going through there is the Thames. And that'll... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the uh, Andy Lee. white spot is, the, is where the actual city's uh, so districts are. You see where it says to Bexley and it has that arrow on the side? Kind of towards the middle, but down on the right-hand side, I think? Yep. Uh-huh. If you go slightly down from there into that suburb area, I think that's probably where he is. He's got a little estate down there. So hmm. just outside the city. Oh, so Taking can... a taxi would be prudent, then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I would say with the taxi, you're looking at 45 minutes to an hour, as long as they're not being crazy. I assume we're splitting the fee for the taxi then. Oh, we can we bill it to the it. company. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, Andy, if you hang around after we finish the game, I will show you what I can do with Dungeon Alchemist. Okay. So, um, unless I'm crazy with about how long this will take, is that a sound about right, Brad, who knows more than I do on that part? I, it depends on the route they're taking. Probably... I don't know that they would be able to get there that fast going through the city itself. They may have to kind of circumnavigate. They will get you there as quickly as they can and take about an hour. And we Given the distance involved, we we'll probably need to go through the city because of bridges. Yeah, I guess. Well, well but we're but we're not coming from the docks. We're coming from where from the, the, the where the cab company store. is. Yeah, which is near where the storefront is, within a few blocks. Yeah, so, so it's all, okay. So yeah, so that's probably a little more reasonable. All right, so that is where you guys are kind of heading, and we have this cool map thing. And I bet you, if I took the time, because I haven't opened mine, because I'm doing an unboxing later. Um, I know that there's a chart in there, right, Brad? There is that a chart. Will tell you? It won't get you to. It shows you the chart. Will tell you everything for the boroughs within London. It won't tell you to get to the well, outbound, but you, could, but you can you guesstimate it from there. Guess how long it would take you to even get outbound. Yes. So, isn't that cool? It's historic and awesome. And just to do the vile but next necessary huckstering, we have a Kickstarter going on for the Maps of London, as well as the Sword Sourcebook, that has five days left. So if you're interested, I will post the link for that in the Twitch chat. Was, was I that obvious, Brad? I was trying so hard. And, and just to say, having tested it two weeks ago, the train, the rail travel times are still incredibly accurate. That's cool. As yeah. is the maps of particularly South Kensington, where I could I managed to compare it to modern maps that are on the wall for two tourists at the tube, as well as the, and then the maps themselves. It's still completely identical street layout, apart from the random um, shopping. Center. We don't talk about the shopping center. We don't. Talk about <laughs> why, why don't we talk about the shopping center? 
it got me completely turned around so I walked just the wrong direction based on trying to navigate off the maps because I can I can look at a map but I don't have the navigation skill apparently. <laughs> I get lost <laughs> in what paper bag. So, but I will say this, when I was in Poland, we went on a train to Krakow, right? And it the train stops, it's almost like the airports where it's stops in like a mall. And Having been there for a little while, I, I kind of thought I was getting used to stuff, but then it was a totally different experience inside this mall. They have pay bathrooms, which you never see in the U.S., and it was very confusing, even to the nice lady who was my guide at the time, and it is the only mean person I met in all of Poland, was the attendant who yelled at us because we were in the wrong line, which huh. became funny because I couldn't understand what she was yelling, and my my supervisor, my the, the nice lady who was my guide, she said something back. She didn't yell, but she said something back to her. And then the, the mean lady screamed again. And then somebody else in the line was just like, says something that I can't understand. And the mean lady just gave her the nastiest look. And like I had to wait until we're like through the bathrooms and out the bathrooms because I can be like, I don't know what happened. <laughs> and apparently, because we were in the wrong line, we were getting yelled at. And the my 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 guide was like i'm sorry we're new we hadn't been here before you know and the lady said something that apparently was so impolite that she would not repeat it <laughs> so some other lady in line basically told her that if she didn't like her job she should get another job but otherwise to shut up <laughs> and it was like the only mean person in all of poland happens to be a bathroom attendant at this mall thing where you get off the train in in, in krakow there you go to be fair, it's probably a really crappy job. You know, it it might it might even literally be one for all I know. I um, it was, however, one of the cleanest public bathrooms I've ever seen. Oh, and uh, by the way, I think it's uh, I think it's Krakow. It I probably am pronouncing it wrong. I um attempted to learn some Polish, and so. I was having a very hard time because when you see the letters in the U.S., what we're told pronunciation is is that you go by these letters, and apparently in Polish, some of those letters are more um, suggestions. Suggestions. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I, I just don't think that there's a distinction between V and W in Polish. There, it's very little, very mm. little, I think. But yeah, there. Um, yeah. So I tried to say excuse me in Polish and this lady kept looking at me like I was a crazy person because I was pronouncing it so badly that it wasn't even close. And uh, I spent almost two weeks just trying to learn how to say excuse me properly. So <laughs> it is and, and it's some sort of ongoing joke. Everybody over there says that their superpower is speaking Polish. And at first I'm like, okay, because some of these people know each other, but then you're hearing the exact same comment from like merchants and stuff and you're just sitting here going by god it is an actual superpower because i can't even say excuse me without screwing it up <sighs> all right. my name is so, wendell with the bubble you <laughs> oh dude and then i think because it's very close to like russian too and that just makes it even harder because i've heard some russian words often enough that like but I'm messing that up, so... Yay. However... Trasdubci and all that sort of thing. Yeah. You guys are in a cab and can chat with each other, comment to each other, think about what you want to do on your way, because you've got a little bit of time to think it through. And you can also decide whether or not you want the cab to wait for you, which might be a good idea. And if well, you don't tell you... them before you get out, they will just leave, like... They do not just hang out. How many of us? How many of us are there again going? Well, uh, as far as I know, all of you are going, unless you change that. Mm, I think there's no, like five no. of you. Yeah, if there's five of us, that's going to be five. a tight squeeze in a cab. Uh, a lot of the cabs are now designed where you, somebody could be on the outside on the back because trolls don't fit in a lot of the cabs. So yeah, our river would. That's a would long hang time out. to hang yeah. off. I don't Can know, I Brad. Have the, uh, the suicide seat. Yeah, like, I don't know why I immediately thought that that would be River's position, but there you go. Because <laughs> River likes to be outside. Because River is an outside human. That's, that's, like, that's 
like indoor and outdoor dog, but it's I a human. I'm not a human. Wait. I'm an elf. Sorry, she's an outside elf. <laughs> outside <laughs> Formerly person. human. Outside person. There you go. Outside being. Sentient. Outside so, yeah. being sounds like a euphemism, euphemism for spirit. You could also try to see if they have one of the larger cabs that are made for things like trolls. You guys have options. You guys can all go in one vehicle and it can be put on... Um, um, I, I believe in common parlance... Company. I believe in common parlance they refer to those as buses. Oh no, because there's, the there's a difference with the omnibus, <laughs> yes. There, there is, There are buses and you guys could choose to take that. But I also know that there are cabs that are basically minivans instead of, you know, economy cars. It's a thing. At least out here it is. I don't know. Was in England is that an option? I mean, sure, yeah. So yeah, so you guys can in with trolls becoming a thing. There are some more that are built for either the troll to be on the back or big enough for a troll to be on the inside. So you guys could probably get one of the bigger vehicles. Well, they'd also have to have options for vehicles for, you know, just nobles who are traveling and have all their stuff, because that was a thing still. Yes. And, and servants. And Entourage, whatnot, yes. and servants, and, yeah. Which is also another reason why the, the seats on the back, a lot of times servants get put on the bench on the back, which would really kind of suck if it was rainy or cold, because it's literally a bench on the back, usually. Well, quickly checking the book, we have... Personal steam coaches, which can sit four passengers, and a luxury steam coach that could sit six passengers. So a commercial cabby steam coach, coach sitting five doesn't sound implausible? Yeah. Yes, we could probably get something. And those yeah. are only a sample of the type of vehicles that are around. You can get a lot different. And for anyone listening in, this is why this is also educational. We are, we're educational so you guys have no problems I'm going to guess you tell the cabbie to stick around afterwards though so that you are not stuck sounds Correct. a good plan mm -hmm. awesome They want to have the cabbie wait, like, around the corner or something, so they're not just, like, straight in view of the house in case Mark is still there. Any well, that's an idea. With, any questions why to... there's a second cab from the same company there? Well, and I'm sure he has staff and stuff yeah. that maybe is looking. Do you guys want to stop the cab early and have them wait, and then you guys kind of walk up? Yeah, get us, get us close, but not, like, right in view of the... You know, to where they could look out the windows and, and start to ask questions. Everybody good with that? Mm -hmm. good to me. Yeah. Okay. So the cabbie has no problems with that. Um, he has no problems with waiting. He'll probably inform you that it's so much per hour to wait. It's not a big deal to you guys. It's only going to be charged to the company, which is going to charge it to the company that hired you type of thing. So you guys go. The estate itself is, it's a smaller estate. It's probably a two-story building. It's got pretty columns. It has like a circle drive with a fountain and some roses in the middle. Um... Some fairly nice hedging towards the front. Some very nice established shade trees and little pop-ups of three and five throughout the area. A couple of them have cute little pathways and little benches. It's very well done, but also not flashy, if that makes any sense. Like, if you were to pay a lot of attention, you'd notice that the little bench is, is a really nice marble. But it's not ornate, it's not gilded or anything like that. And that whole entire house seems to speak of about the same type of thing. It's very nice, it's very well done, it's very well kept up, it's very well, you know, clean and 
but it's not showy and it doesn't seem to necessarily have some of the personal touches but you'll know you'll realize more about that once you go inside so there is obviously the front door which is like a big double door type of thing um there is a side door towards the back which seems to be some sort of servant delivery entrance and then there is a back door that goes out into kind of a seating area and rose garden there are first floor windows there are second floor windows there is a chimney i'm not sure you guys want to try to climb down a chimney but there are probably about three chimneys was there any smoke coming out um no It actually seems pretty quiet. I mean, we're assuming he has staff. I don't see the point in trying to make a stealthy entrance through the chimney. I'm pretty sure I don't either, notice. but um, I have noticed that players come up with crazy plans, and I'm not to judge that. I'm just here to tell you what you can see. Yep. <laughs> well, I mean, there's crazy plans, sure. and there's, oh, hey, let's go through the chimney for some reason. <laughs> You laugh, and I have had players do these things. So I'm just saying. Just the, listen, there are, we all know that there are lol random players out there. <laughs> so, you had to deal all, with several of them. Technically, yeah. I didn't say anything about, or you could, I guess, bust through the wall. But trust me, I've had players come up with that as a plan. Was one of your players playing the Kool-Aid Man? Um, you oh, yeah. Have thought so, but he did not have that name. It was a barbarian, if that helps. Who apparently I mean, was confounded. There's kick in the door strategy, and then there's kick in the wall strategy. I mean, to and be fair, they'll never see it coming. Wall. They usually did not. No, no. <laughs> All right. So what do you guys do? You get a sneak attack bonus for attacking someone through the wall. <laughs> you, you totally do. And two, the wall has the worst dodge I've ever seen. I actually had a guy once ask me if the wall dodged, and I'm like, it's a wall. How would it do that? Like, I don't know. If you're in a shady part of town, some of those walls look pretty dodgy. I mean, yeah. I considered one time after that making a wall a mimic, just to be yeah. like, yeah, it dodged, and then it ate you. But <laughs> I thought that was rude, and so. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, you know, you could also have just been really, really drunk. I once you know, had an Earth Down player try to use Slow Blame on a wall. Yeah, that was me. I know. <laughs> oh yeah, that was you. That was you. <laughs> that was it was the wall. The wall did it. There was, was a bunch off. of orcs that got their gahad set off, and he turns and he's you know, making the aggressive stance. And Chris's character basically points at the wall and says, "He did it." <laughs> he did it. <laughs> How high do you have to roll for that to? It was like a thirty. Off? It was a Cause, 30. Because he actually managed you know to pull it off. If I, I will say it right now. You, yeah, if, if they get a 30 or something, I guess they totally believe the wall did it. But I I blink every time after that. Just. Mm. <laughs> well, mm. okay. To be fair, he so, was an orc raging in Gahad. It's not like he knew what was going on. <laughs> okay. So nobody is raging. You all can kind of get a layout of the land and ask any questions about the area and then decide what you want to do. Go knock on the door? Would it Maybe. be worth us sending Osmi River to watch the back doors of the house just in case he tries to make a quick exit? If he's still in. Well, I think the first question is, is the other cab still there? That is a good question, Mr. Brad, and no, it is not. Okay, so he probably left then. Well, then we're probably going to have to go in and have a look around anyway and see where he went. So we're going to have to deal Let... with his staff. Unless, you know, there's some really obvious, like, marks in the ground that could be tracked. Well, no, we're looking for Mark. <laughs> oh, he's a ha ha. Yeah, yeah. Mm. He, he meant, like, <laughs> Look, I'm sorry I had to. You walked into it. Literally. You know what I meant. Honey, honey walked into it. Honey, 
funny. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, I will be back in like five minutes. Sorry. You okay. guys figure out what you want to do and your questions, I'll be right back. That's fine. Sure, if Brad's not here when you get back, it's because I murdered him. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. <laughs> that happens, right? That's a I... good long-range murder, but you are Scottish, so that's more dangerous. I am fully prepared that at some point I'm going to die because of one of my puns. That does not mean I'm going to stop anytime soon. I'm just surprised Michelle hasn't killed me yet. <laughs> Give it time. Give it time. Yeah, so yesterday, uh, or I guess Friday, my pharmacists were talking about uh, duck hunting, and I go, that just sounds foul. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Why'd you have to go there? Because it was low hanging fruit. I think you would find it's high flying fruit, actually. Duck isn't a fruit, just gonna say. Mm. I suppose. I'm going to well fruity. Fruit. That it does. And haven't you ever seen Donald Duck? He's kind of a fruit. Yeah, ducks are overrated. They're not all they're quack up to be. Oh. That would hurt. Yep. <laughs> I can feel oh, the pain radiating towards me through the internet. Oh, I loved it. <laughs> So anyway, what do we think? Because we're going to have to deal with his staff, and we don't know how many he has. The more the better, honestly. Because <coughs> odds are, like, if there's more of them, then one of them will tell us where he is. I, They'll tell us where he is, but do we want to just find him, or do we want to like get a hold of his records and stuff? Presumably... They may also be in his house if they weren't on premises. But I mean, we we can't exactly just walk up to the house and tell his staff, "Hey, your boss has been embezzling money. We need to find him." Well, we could do that. We just probably shouldn't do that. If we were going to go with that approach, we'd need to have Patrick with us. Yeah, sacrificial lamb and all that. You guys have not met Patrick. You probably never will. Which is oh, probably really for the best. He's quite oh, coming good in at doing stretches. We do on body. He's quite good at derailing investigations. Today is Sonny's birthday, by the way. Happy birthday, Sonny! Oh, happy birthday, Sonny! Happy so Sonny! He will have his pictures up later. Yeah, you give Who's him. Who's the best doggo? <laughs> you give him hugs. Scotty is the best doggo, or no, or but, cat. But today's Sonny's birthday. Happy birthday to Sonny. I was actually checking on a doggo. Um, <coughs> one of Batsy's siblings from the first letter goes, belongs to a friend of mine. And she had to make an unexpected trip because a relative passed away. So he's over here. And Gotti thinks he's his best friend. They're best friends. Gotti loves him and they romance like no other. The problem is, is that he was full grown when we got Gotti. And so Gotti was like, you know, six weeks old. Heavier than the Papillon, who was an adult. But, uh, how to put this? Gotti is super smart, except for he's also super stupid. Anytime he gets around Crixel, he goes back and he seems to think that they're the same size. And they'll start to play fighting, and Crixel will do things like run underneath the furniture, which Gotti normally knows he does not fit under. But when Crixel runs under there and he gets into this mode, he will just bulldoze under my furniture. So unless I can be like right on top of them, I have to kind of keep them away from each other for 
One, Crixel's on safety because he's an idiot who stirs Scotty up. He, he purposely does. He goes over there, and he'll get them all wound up to play chase and stuff. And then he'll hide under the furniture, and then, like, I, I have, will have broken table legs and stuff. So <laughs> I was checking on the other one because Scotty's up here in my office with me. But he's sad. He's been mourning and looking at the door because you know, his buddies are there. And I am separated them. Because otherwise I have to, like, stop running in the house. You little monsters. But happy birthday to Sonny. Yeah, I gotta give him his... Sonny's out running into the furniture. I gotta get him his present later. Oh, what'd you get him? He's got... So he loves his bunnies that he watches in the window. Uh, so I yeah. found him a uh, realistic looking stuffed bunny. Aww. Does it have actual rabbit hair? I don't think so. It looks to be faux fur. No, oh, that's okay. I know that they make some nowadays that have like, that are actually like uh, cow hide leather and rabbit fur and stuff like that. I know that they do it. They're kind of pricey, but they do it. I tried one. It claimed that it was super tough for the, you know, strongest of chewers and things like that. It was at um, Bass Pro. Gotti was six months old. It broke before we could get it to the register. <laughs> I still bought it, but we didn't buy any more from that brand. Because not so tough. <coughs> well, maybe we'll record you getting your present at the end of the stream. How's that sound, Sonny? Oh, that'd be nice. People like to see the dogs. Yep. <laughs> I had, Sonny popped up on the uh, when I was doing the Q and A, and somebody commented, "I came for the questions, I stayed for the dog." Guns <laughs> So, um, questions? What are you about these? What you're looking at? What are we? Or do you have a plan? What are we doing? Are there any obvious signs as to where his office might be, like, looking from the outside? Are there any, like, big windows that uh, we can spot you, and see? There's there's a bunch of windows, because natural light was still very important when this place was built. Somebody has to go close if you're worried about being spotted, or closer. So does anybody want to, like, kind of stealth a bit? Um, I guess, uh, I, I will. Okay. Yeah, so that one I'm looking at River, because I am not the sneaky type. <laughs> River, you got tagged, you're it. Yeah, I, I just have to look at what my dex is. I suppose I could do an engineering test just for the architecture of the building. You could. See what would make sense. Well, River tries to peek through the windows. Yeah. Now well, let me do civil so engineering. So River, I'm gonna one. need two from you. I need um, some sort of stealthy, stealthy stride type of thing. And then I'll need a. <coughs> what was the second one? Perception or awareness. Basically, what, what, how good are you seeing what's inside type of thing? Um, I've got building security knowledge. See if I can. That might help. You can do that. I or got a. a I got a ten on civil engineering. Okay. So we're we planning to sneak in. in <laughs> I think we're just kind of casing the joint before we go up. We'll see. Okay. What's your role, August? Because I think you can assist Brad. Because uh, I mean, no. you want your office to be secure, so that's not bad. Okay, and. River. I got a 20 on the stealth and my character sheet didn't say when I updated so I had it rank, I bought rank 2 awareness. I, I believe you. And a nine for perception. Okay. So, Brad, uh, sorry, um, Nigel and August. There's two major options you guys could think of. One is more secure than the other. 
So on the first floor, there's a couple of places where you might find like the lady's sitting room and the gentleman's kind of morning room, which are often used as offices. It would be more secure if it was on the second floor. And since he doesn't have a family, you're probably going to see that there's like a servant's area and then his private area, which would be a good place to find <coughs> Are, um, would be harder to break into and could be more in the central on the second floor. So you'd have to like get to the second floor, climb the building, something like that. So you've got two major options that you can guys can come up with. Miss River, you are sneaking very well. You didn't even like spook that bunny until you almost stepped on it and then it gave you the evil eye and ran off. That's how good you're sneaking. Bunny didn't even notice you at first. What's weird is, is that you don't see anybody you haven't seen a maid a butler a cook and you went all the way around the building you didn't see anything that screamed office however again in the fancier homes a lot of times they use things like secretaries desks to kind of hide that type of stuff and there's at least one room that could very easily be an office so to speak that's somewhat hidden from the first on the so but again you don't see anybody other than the bunny that you spooked. You saw the bunny. So you can report back to them. And the one place that she saw that could be an office is one of the two one of the two places that you considered on the first floor. But she did not get to the second floor. Which with your security, Nigel would realize the second floor would of course be slightly more safe, harder to get to. Oh, right. I don't know if securities is concerned well, at his building, home, though. Right. But, so it's either the one room downstairs that you guys think it is, or it's a room on the second floor. But that's odd that there's no staff around. Not a bit. <coughs> I would say let's first go try to knock on the door and see if we get a response. And if, of course. Nups, if nothing, then we know where we need to go. I'll, uh, right. Come on, then. Let's go and, um, knock. You guys need to knock on the door? Do you, do you knock really loud? Like, like bang, bang, bang? Just as okay. a river, you may want to hang back. Oh, nope. uh, that in was case... me. That was not the real door. My bad. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> river, you may want to hang back because we may need you to stealth later, so we don't necessarily want them to see you. If we we get we get in and we get the all clear, we'll wave you in. So stay where you can see us. But you may want to hang back just in case we need you to to sneak off and and flank for us. Sounds good. Right, I guess I can rap on the door with my cane. So you give it a good hard rap 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 to see if somebody hears. <coughs> How long do you guys wait to see if somebody answers? Ten seconds, thirty, a minute. I I mean, Two what, whatever would be reasonable for somebody coming here with the size of a house. It's it's a pretty sizable house if you were upstairs. Yeah, but I mean, you. Let me see. There would be the expectation that there's a butler, so however long you would we would reasonably expect a butler. If to take reasonably it. expecting a butler, no, nobody comes in that time period. You try the door. Doesn't, doesn't look like anyone's home. Yeah, give, I will give say the door a try. The door is unlocked. Okay. Oh, well, let's let's creak open the door and just take a look first before we step in and see if we spot anything. You want a perception? Oh, I... That's... I was going to say, can I can I try detect trap first before we open the door? If we're opening the door, you know, it's those just traps that cause the barbarian to go through walls. I just want you to know that. <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody traps the wall. I was, thinking, I was more thinking. Out, nobody traps the wall. That's correct. <laughs> Excellent. I was more thinking that you know they might have put something on the top that would fall on us if we open the door or something. It's an idea. You can totally roll that. Absolutely. I'm assuming that Nigel's willing to let August look 
Oh, yeah, absolutely. I am still keeping an eye out. I got a 10 on awareness. So you, you, you let me know after things go off if I notice anything. I mean, I could roll awareness, too, if you like. You can. I ain't stopping you. Okay. I'm going to pop a karma into this, I think. Yeah, I got a six. Not my best day. <clears throat> Fifteen. It doesn't seem to be trapped. And not locked. And not trapped. So... Uh, that's, that's cool. I will let Nigel know that he can go ahead and go through the door if he wants to. I was going to say, so, let's just open the door and kind of look around, and I'll wave on you want to just poke it open with your cane. <laughs> I will do this thing. Oh, the cautious players. So, Wayland oh, pokes it open. More culpable and... deniability. No, we never entered the home. You guys get a, a good look. It's, it's what you would expect in the fact that it's a grand room with a staircase that goes up, and there's some doors that lead off to the sides, right? And again, it's that very expensive taste, but not showy. It's all very understated. It's also very, um, how to put this, lacking in a lady's touch. It's very kind of masculine. There's not a lot of Nicky Knacks. It's There's a bachelor no pad. Family. It's kind of a, yeah, but it's. If a mansion can be such. If a mansion can be such. It's the Victorian it's, equivalent. Sort of, yeah. Like it, but there aren't flowers in the vases. There's a vase because that's pretty much where one would put a vase, right? And it's a very, almost more Spartan style. It's very minimalist. But there's um, no paintings of great grandma. There's no paintings of you know your niece, your nephews, your children. There's all of that's kind of missing. Well, where there would be paintings, there... there's like landscapes and shit. Oh, right, yeah, so there are paintings then. It is furnished. There are paintings. Then. It's, function it's furnished. It's just. It's furnished almost like somebody who was furnishing, again, a business or a hotel, where it's functional and it's clean and it's a nice business or hotel, but it's not personal. It, if that it's makes stuff sense. that fills the slot, but it's not got any sort of right. connection to the person living there. Right. Almost as if, here's a bunch of money, please go furnish my house. Well, should we just <laughs> let out a hello and see if anybody answers? <laughs> About five seconds after your hello, I need a perception. All right, I can do that again. People hiding in here? Is this what's going on? Shh. Maybe they'll go away. <laughs> Perception or awareness, I'm presuming. Yes. Nine. Yeah. yeah. I tossed a karma in there. I got a 16. Anybody else? One from Morgana. 15 from August. So, Nigel and August. At about a couple seconds after the hello, somebody upstairs, you kind of just see, like, they start to come, they kind of see you guys, and they they kind of, like, pull back. Like, they see, hey, what's that? I don't know those people. And they just kind of pull back. So they're up at the top of that grand staircase. They look like multiple people? No, it just seemed like one. Do we hear thudding like they're running off? Or they just walked away. Well, with your 16, we will say that it's more like tiptoeing backwards. <laughs> like, I... Oops. Back, 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 back. Okay, so someone's sneaking. Um, somebody's going to have to go in, but we should probably keep somebody around to, to watch the back exit. Who wants to take what job? Well, is River at the back exit? I wasn't sure. I would have probably been out front so I could see them wave me in. Okay, so everybody's out in the front. I, I mean, we can we can wave you up to let you know what we know so far. 
approach cautiously. So, seems like there ain't nobody here. No, there's somebody upstairs tiptoeing around trying to sneak. Oh, really? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, huh. we're going to need to go in after them, but we're going to need somebody to hang back in case they find another escape route. Well, I'm, I'm not the stealthiest fellow, all things considered, so I could hang around here if you'd like, or I could come with you. As you've seen, I'm not terrible at apprehending people. That's from a distance. probably a good idea. If they decide to run, you'd be our best bet to lock them down. Seems fair. Okay. So... We probably should not be alone, though, so we should probably have somebody else wait with you. So who's waiting and where are they waiting? Where do you want me to go? Back door? I... I would say keep an eye, because they could also just try to sneak around us and come through the front. I would say get a little bit of distance and keep an eye on as much of the house as you can. Sure. Okay. And who's Good. with them? I, I, I can drop somewhat. You can what? So... Uh, I, I can, I can be with him. Okay, so... I think River said I can drop someone. I can drop someone. Okay, so River's gonna be outside, and so is, um... Waymont. 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 Alright, and the rest of you three are going inside, so Nigel, I would say so. August, and Morgana mm -hmm. are going inside. Alright. Yeah. So, yep. you three inside, are you heading... Directly to the places you think offices are? I would say let's go up where the person was tiptoeing first. Okay. Let's go talk to the person, yes. Yeah. Alright, so you guys head upstairs. When you get to the top of the stairs, yeah. let's do another perception. An impressive increase percentage-wise on my previous result. I got a Three. 10. Okay. Ditto and likewise, I got 10. And what was... Um, Morgana, Morgana got a 3. 3, okay. So on the two 10s, you don't initially see anybody when you get to the top of the stairs. So whoever it was has gone somewhere. They're not out in the open. What's the direction that I saw that they were heading? To the left. Like does it look like just but I mean like what's down that direction is it just like a, a hallway with closed doors or is there any signs uh, of anything it's a hallway with closed doors at the end of the hallway you had that um that building thing right yes roll the building thing uh let's see here Arc but to be clear I have civil engineering not building security yeah. well so civil engineering is actually closer to what this is yeah, no, it's, it's I know more of the uh, the, the structure. Oh, that's a roll-up. This one's not a hard one. Um, ooh, that's a double roll-up. So, 17, uh, 22. Way more, than what you need. Way more than what you need. That hallway's too short, and at the end of the hallway, whereas at first glance you might not see this, but with what you know and how well you rolled, that's a secret door that usually leads to servants' quarters. At the end of that hall. So you have about four closed doors. And then at the end of the hall, it looks like it's just the end of the hall. But the outside of the building belies that that would be a bigger space. And you know that that's one of the hidden servant doors that are often found in homes like this. Okay. Um, I would say let's pop open the other doors just to like take a glance what's in there, but let's not waste time going into them. Let's head for that door. Okay. So you guys start looking through. Um, it seems like spare bedrooms. One of them seems to be almost a supply type of room with boxes that are labeled 
very, very clean, very organized labels on everything. So some of it seems to be like decorations for different seasons, stuff like that. The other three seem to be spare rooms. You guys going to open up the servant door? Yep, that's where I'm headed. August and Morgana following? Yeah. Yes. Okay. On the outside, River and... Waymont. Waymont. Give me perception. You, you'll get it eventually. Can... Don't worry. I will one of these days. I was getting way part right. That's just... But for some reason, I keep wanting Waymond. Duh. With a D, not Waymont. With a T. I don't know why. I'll I mean, I can change it to a D if you Ooh. want. And... <laughs> I'm, I'm horrible at names. And so I cry, but I'm very bad at it. All right. So um, a um, perception awareness type of thing. Well, awareness is going to be my my jam. Eighteen. That's okay. that's not terrible. <laughs> that's not terrible. No. Um, did you put karma on that? I can put karma on this. Nope, I got a roll up on the D eight. Nice. I'm going to slate some karma on this, though I think, because okay. I I rarely use my karma. So karma, 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 chameleon. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly, my karma is coming and going. Right, that's a d6 on that. All right, that's pretty good. So that makes that twenty. So you two both kind of out of the corner of your eye see someone running from the servants area, and like they are making a mad dash. They seem to have some sort of like um backpacky in bag and like um almost like an overnight type of carpet bag. Oh my. Look and at they him go. are making a run. It's a, apparently a female. She's running fast enough that you don't think she's elderly. But you didn't get a good look. Do we see However, where she's headed? To, uh, towards the road. Away from right. the house and towards the road. She is also wearing what looks like a maid or a uh, butler for a woman type of outfit. Some sort of servanty outfit. But she's running pretty fast. Like, she is booking it. Is there something that I could target that's not her but close enough to make her uh, stop and uh, hesitate for a moment? Oh, you want her there's to stop and hesitate for a moment? Trees. Oh. There's the ground in front of her. Could depending on what you're trying to do. There's. Wait, wait, several... River. River, I've got this. Don't worry. I'm just going to use a little bit of magic. So she's heading for a gate, right? She's headed towards the the road. Whether that's going to be through a gate, over the hedge, through the hedge, she's heading towards the road. Like All right. getting out of dodge. Well, if she's heading towards the road, she must be she must be going towards some break in the wall that I assume surrounds the premises. Would that be a correct assumption? Try that again, I'm sorry, I lost focus. So if she's heading towards the road, she must be going to some break in the wall that I assume surrounds the premises. Very likely. Right. Because I'm going to use an illusion spell. That's a wall now. That's a wall now? That's a wall now. <laughs> okay. So, so is, Are you doing anything? It's a pretty easy illusion, but yeah. Make me get dice out so I can see if she sees through the illusion. Um, what's the, um, how can this, to see through the illusion, it's what your, what your magic, uh, Yeah, the magician it says, magician makes a spell casting test against an eight. If successful, makes an effect test, gaining plus one step for each success scored in the spell casting test. The result is the barrier rating of the shield. Oh wait, different, different spell. Hang on. 
Right. Oh. Uh, make spell casting test against target in order of eight. If successful, the illusion is created and may have the magician up to the magician's ranking components. It only needs one, so that's that's fine. Uh, blah 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 counts as a component. The magician makes an effect test against target number six for the level of detail and realism of the illusion. On one success, the illusion is obviously an artwork and sketch in detail. And two successes, the illusion might be convincing if no one looks too closely. Or if three or more successes, if anyone viewing the illusion must make a perception test against the magician's effect test result to detect that it is in fact an illusion and not a real scene. So you need to make a test to see if she has to make a test. Correct. I, I mean, okay. I have to make a I have to make a, a test to see if the spell actually happens first. Okay. Right. <laughs> so. Um, for that, I would roll spellcasting. Yes. And that is a, a d10 plus a d8 for me. I really ought to spend some of that XP I got. <laughs> I mean, you're just banking it and then going to be all of a sudden super cool, I guess. I, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know why I haven't spent my, it yet. But My second bio child didn't speak. Like, my first one had two word sentences by a year. The second one didn't speak, didn't speak, right? She was 18 mm -hmm. months, and, and they say that second children don't. But then when she did start speaking, she didn't do, like, little things. She just started with whole paragraphs. That is what I feel like Wayman's doing. It's going to be nothing, 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 and then just boom, I wrote a book. Like, that's that's how this is going to go. Right, I got a 12 on the spell casting check, so the spell does okay. go off. So now I have to roll an effect test. Brad, how do I roll an effect test? Um, that would be whatever the effect is of the spell. So that's usually, like, your willpower plus something. Like will plus rank or uh, what? What's the base spell you're using? It's illusion. Okay. Um, physical, physical illusion. One second, let me get to that. Why didn't you get a toy, little girl? Was I talking to your daughter? Was I talking to the baby? Oh yippee! That one did. That one just had effect special. It didn't actually put the dice to roll. Uh, so yeah, that based off of the pattern for that one, that one should be will plus rank. Will plus rank. Got it. Uh, right. That will be one for Arata. Mm -hmm. Well, we were well... helping. Helping. Boop, boop. Right, so will plus spellcasting rank, is it? Yes. Yes. Okay, so that would make that. It's rank three. Willpower is 16, which is a d12. That's step seven, so it would be a step 10. So step 10 is... I was going to say, since you've got a 12 on it, you needed an eight. Or did you, you only need a six, or did you need an eight? Eight. Okay, so not quite the five above to get an extra step. Sorry. I was trying to help you. I could roll a karma. I don't mind. Yeah. I'll do it. Yeah, roll karma. I got a six on that karma die. So. Would give you two steps, but that would give you two steps up on mm -hmm. your effect, right? Right, so that, that, that is now inst that's now an 18 instead of a 12. See? And I roll a six again, so that's now a 24 instead of a 12. And then that's a three. So that's 27. And you need an eight. You need an eight. 18, 23. That's three steps above, right? Believe so. Yeah, that's 15 more. 15 plus eight is 23, right? I'm not uh -huh. losing it. So you get three more steps on your effect. Excellent. So that's step 13, which is d12 plus d10. Neat. Unless I did that wrong, Brad. Nope, that sounds correct. I did something right today. Yay. Yay. <laughs> That's seven. So that is... 27. So basically she has to be at a 27 really to see through it. Yep. <laughs> I'm not even rolling that. <laughs> <laughs> you... She, she stops when she sees that it's now her pathway is blocked, right? She's not on, like right on top of it. She's still a bit back from it, but it's blocked. And there is a sheer moment, because you guys did so well on your perception, that she is 
panicked. Like there's a sheer moment of what do I do? Panic. Which would give you guys another moment to do something else if you're going to try to do something else. I'll run up to her. I'll walk. <laughs> okay, I'm so a gentle. Rimmer runs up to her while Waymont is walking up there. And she starts backing away from you, but it's it's a backpedaling. Like she's she doesn't want to turn her back on you to full out run. At the same time, she seems afraid of you. That's true. Gentlemen, gentlemen, walk. So um, inside the house, Brad, you go to the door. Because of your role, you know exactly how to pop that thing open and get behind and get into the servants' quarters. And the servants' quarters has like a bunch of bedrooms and a supply closet and a staircase that from this end is not very hidden. Mm -hmm. But the staircase goes down into a kitchen area and out the kitchen area is that side door. I'm guessing the door was left open in a rush. Yes, it was. All right. Well, we can head out that direction, and I'm sure we'll see all this going on outside. Scene of yes, and you guys can try to check to see if you guys can see through it, or otherwise, it turns out Waymont just put a wall where there wasn't a wall. But I believe you have to be to twenty-seven. So yeah, good luck. I'm not gonna bother. Otherwise, otherwise, Waymont created a goddamn wall over there. Like. Thanks. Fancy. So, um, River, you're going to be the closest one to her. And like I said, she's got like a backpacky thing that's kind of a bag that she's kind of tied some ropes to and kind of made. And then um, a carpet bag. And she is backing away. She seems. She's a carpet bagger. She's a carpet bagger. That was an actual thing in this time period to have carpet bags. I know it is, which is why it's funny. It's an actual little, like, that's a real thing. But she seems terrified. Like, and you can roll to see if you don't believe it, but on face value, she appears terrified of you. I'd recommend sitting and hang down before you hurt yourself. No, no, dear lady, we are not going to harm you. And she kind of sits, but almost stumbles backwards into the sit. And she just... Mr. Johnson gave me permission. I had Mr. Johnson's permission. <clears throat> permission to, uh... Permission to what, exactly? I'm not a thief. No I don't know who a... you are, and I don't know what Mr. Johnson did... But I didn't do anything, and he gave me, and and I am not a thief. I, I did not accuse you of being a thief. Uh, anybody with, like, etiquette, streetwise, any of those things that's over, you know, all of you are kind of, are kind of out here at the moment. Uh, I mean, I have etiquette. You can run etiquette. Uh, as sheepishly say, as I raise my hand, given how badly I've helped me the last time. Uh, an 11 from Morgana on etiquette. Okay. Let me hear way months and then I will get back to you two and then anybody with Streetwise will do next. It's Morgana out here? Okay. Yeah, they, they went up through the thing and they followed her because um, they went uh, into the servant's corner because Brad did so good on the roll. He knows we, how to we, open the We saw where she ran out, so we're basically coming up as you're talking to her. They they went down the, through the service hall, down the staircase, into the kitchen, saw the door open. Aha, uh -huh. 17. They're back that way. 17? Okay, and what was the other one? August? I 11. Think. Oh, yeah, 11. Okay. So. Nine for streetwise for me. Okay, so on etiquette, a servant accused of theft, that's pretty serious. Like, it could mean more than just you don't have a job serious. Like, there's prison, there's being hung, like, there's being uh, sent to Australia or some other place. Like, it can be very serious. On streetwise, just being accused of it is enough to ruin somebody's life. Which is 
Yeah, I'm not what I was saying. I'm I'm not not like accusing it... you. <laughs> right, but like that might be because that's an actual serious. Like you can get in. It it could be prison and death or exile, like over this, never being able to get a job again, type of thing. Ah, uh, that's or, true. Yeah, this could be anything from you can't get a job again to being put to death, being put in prison, or being sent to a colony. Right. Just the right. accusation, because servants can't really afford attorneys, and um, usually if you get accused by somebody, nobody says that the lord or lady is wrong. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. So... Is she human, elf, dwarf? She's human. Okay. Um... But yeah, she she basically is at first just I I didn't steal anything. I was given it. I don't know what Mr. Johnson's involved in. I don't know who you are. I I have nothing to do. I didn't steal anything. He he told me I could have it. He gave he gave me he gave it to me. We're just here looking for Mr. Johnson. Do you know where he's gone? And she shakes her head. No, he left. He's he's he left. After he he. He he spoke to everybody. Mm-hmm. He left. What did he sorry. say to everyone? Hold on, sorry. For anybody watching who can't see, um, Brad put in the, the text thing, well, if she were a boojum, I have good news about a colony she might want to go to. <laughs> <laughs> as suspicious as you all are of the wonderful colony out there. Um, Sorry, what was the question for her? Uh, what did he say to everyone? He um, he dismissed us, but he gave us letters of recommendation, and 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 he he gave us all things. Right. The river. Sorry. River typed in, why does everybody else get to go to the colony? <laughs> everybody but River gets to go. Sorry. Um, he dismissed us. He gave us all letters of recommendation. And then she stumbles, stutters over the word things. And things. Okay. What things? She's looking at all of you and kind of very slowly scooching on her butt backwards from all, you know, five of you. He, he just wanted to make sure that we'd be okay until, until we found other positions. Okay, okay. Lady, please believe us. We are not concerned with your position we are trying to find mr johnson but so we he's are a, not going to we are not going to level any accusations against you. you you will not be dealing with police today brad do you have anything conversation charisma something? i can try charisma try charisma let's see if she believes you let's let's come off come off good brad. nigel nigel let's see how this goes <laughs> well, it helps if it doesn't land on top of the other dice. I got a seven. Not bad. Could be worse. So, so Nigel seems to have a, fair, a little bit of a calming effect, and she just she kind of looks at you and she goes, "Mr. Johnson's a nice man. He's a good man." I don't know what you think he did, but he's. He's not a bad person. Okay. We're just trying to find out where he's gone. Yeah. He didn't. That's all. <laughs> and he Anybody... left in a camp. Anybody want to throw in some sort of perception? to see if you can kind of read between some of the lines here. Empathic says 
if that helps. Yeah, that would probably be the best. Yeah, that's that's probably better than perception, <laughs> I would say. What was it? Empathic sense. Oh, yeah, no, that would be very helpful for that's, you. That's the one we need. Um, that would be a very helpful one. I'll throw some, I'll throw some karma in, just for good measure. Oh, my D8 likes me today. It really likes me today. But not that much. <laughs> likes you a little. Yeah, it, it likes me enough to get um, 17 on one, basically, you know, die. Uh, so 20 in total. That 20 is nice. So mm. she is, she has, there is a sense of fear from her about all of you. Especially since some of you definitely look like lords and lady type things, right? But underneath that, she, there's some fear for Mr. Johnson. There's loyalty to Mr. Johnson. There's a sense of happy kindness towards Mr. Johnson. Like, if you're not out to get her, then something has happened because Mr. Johnson had letters of recommendation for all of them and you guys know he hasn't been gone that long right which might right. imply something like those letters were already written and ready he gave them something stuff money something to make sure that they would all be taken care of he was preparing to run already he's preparing to run or something right like he's making sure all of them were taken care of there's a sense of loyalty because that's a sense of loyalty back to a staff. You know, he didn't just leave them high and dry. He wanted to make sure that they would all be. And like I said, that has earned a high degree of loyalty. It's also going to cover his tracks. Somewhat possibly, yeah. So you guys, so you have a sense that you're going to have to somehow convince her that not only are you not out to harm her personally, but that you're not there to harm Mr. Johnson, that you're not there to harm Mark. Shall we all go and find somewhere where we can have a cup of tea and discuss this? That is a beautiful thing. That's going to cause... August a, will yeah. say. That's, a, that's good, because that causes her to blink and kind of is trying to take her out of that fear mindset. That's That's really smart. Morgana will step over and offer the young lady a hand up. She takes it. Her hand trembles a little bit. She's pretty actually afraid. And you guys bring her back in, probably back to the servant store. To where the kitchen is, I'm guessing. Tell yes, because taking wrong. taking her having tea in the kitchen is probably going to be a much more comfortable thing than using one of the sitting second. rooms. Yeah. So. I'm going to let yeah. you guys take the lead on that. I'm going to try to hang back a little bit. And when it seems like she's suitably distracted, I'm going to start looking for his offices. Because I don't know that we have time to sit and discuss. We, we need to get information because he's going to be on the run. So you guys lead her back in. Does anybody try to take or look into the backpack or the the carpet bag? I just I, want to know. I don't think any of us care. Nope. Just no, no, not much, really. <laughs> no, no, okay. So if no one's trying to mess with any of that, she actually calms down quite a bit once she's in the kitchen because it's a much more familiar space for her. And she actually starts making the tea herself, almost as if it's an auto-drive type of, okay, we're having tea, I should make the tea, right? Mm -hmm. And she starts serving everyone. This seems to be second nature to her. Like, this is her job. This is what she does. She knows what she's doing type of thing, right? She fixes the tea. She starts serving the tea. She sits down. She's much calmer and much less apprehensive. If you aren't here to 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 um to do 
bad things. Why are you here? We were here hoping to talk to Mr. Johnson. Yes, that's all. Really. She kind of frowns and gives you a look, and this is that look that somebody's grandmother gives. Like, she's mimicking the look of, I know you just fibbed. Like, don't fib to me type of look. I, Mr. Johnson is in some sort of trouble because he would never just leave like this. He, he doesn't make sudden, he just doesn't do that. I fear Mr. Johnson may have done something foolish. We are trying to get to the bottom of it. And she looks you point blank straight in the eye. Are you trying to help Mr. Johnson? Well, it's not really a matter of helping or not helping. We just want to ask him some questions. If, if that is what he deserves, that is what we will do. He's a good man. He's treated all of us well. He made sure Eve, that we'd be taken care of. He's a good man. Unfortunately, even good men make mistakes. But they don't deserve to be hurt. We have no intention of hurting him. That seems to sell her down. Like she, there, there is a strong sense of loyalty going on here. I don't know where he went. He came home. He never just comes home in the middle of the day. He went to his office. He called us all together. He gave us letters of recommendation. He gave us a lot of, of money said he wanted to make sure that we would all be taken care of. And then I was to make sure that everyone got items from the house. And then I could have anything I wanted. And he said for us to go home. And take some time before we looked for other employment or, or, or education. And then this souls went back to his office and then he got back into the cab and he left. This all speaks in his favor. I fear he has done foolish things, but I think you're right in saying that he is not a bad person. He's not. He put my brother through university. Do you know anyone else who does that type of thing? Most employers don't care. Lucky if we don't get hit. Just to check, this is obviously not me asking out loud, but he's been embezzling an awful lot from the company. For at least a few years, about a few like, years since, since the since the since the father died. But his circumstances look about right for what you'd expect for someone. Yep. Living how he's living you know, on his normal wage without that. Yes, he's not living outside his means. No. But it sounds suspiciously like he's then been saving it up and using it to help other people right just 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 sort of making sure that that's very possible um <laughs> at, at, if you were to ask her she could tell you how much that she got she doesn't necessarily know how much everybody else got and she has a list of things from the house that other people were supposed to be given and she did follow the list to the letter and then she was told she could have anything else in the house that she wanted and if you look at the list which i'm just going to give it to you guys at this point the list um 
there would be like expensive watches that he might wear or have that were given out to people. The more expensive personal effects that he would have had, he's gifted to the staff. Um, I'm going to pause you guys and let you think for a second. I'm going to get back to Brad. She's more set up and a little less fearful, but I think you can slip away because her attention isn't necessarily on you as an individual. Um, there's not much on the main floor in the one room that might have been an office. There's some like personal correspondence stuff. Mm -hmm. If you go upstairs and go the other direction, not the one towards the spare rooms and the uh, servants' quarters, you go the other direction, it's very obviously like his suite, and in his suite he has a small office. Okay, yeah, that that's where through. I'm and Which is the one you guys on. were thinking, yeah. So what are you looking for? How can I help you? Whatever. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's probably kind of in disarray as if he ran in a hurry. Um looking for any other papers that might have been left behind that could give us clues. Um, Not as much of a disarray as you would think. It actually leads back to the idea that maybe he did it quickly, but he knew that this was either something he was planning on soon or something that might happen soon. Like the letters of recommendation were done and sitting there waiting. He didn't have to sit down and write them. You don't know about the list yet because you're not downstairs, but... Right, but I mean, uh, oh, more is, the yeah. stuff that he would have taken because he's on the run. He would have taken anything. That's the thing. The safe, There's a safe in the room. It's open. There's not much of anything in there. There's some ledgers. But it's not like he grabbed a bunch of stuff. Hmm. Downstairs... So, um, Waymont, you might be the best one on this. The personal effects, I mean, these are not things that, like, you would get rid of if you're on the run. They're easier to sell expensive personal effect type of things. If that makes sense, like, mm -hmm. a pocket watch is small. It's an expensive pocket watch. You could sell it. There's not a lot of tracing it, necessarily. And it wouldn't be heavy to take with but when you look at the list like anything that might have been personal and of value seems to have been given to the staff so it looks like he was just basically selling everything at least as much as he could well not so much selling it he gave it or to just the staff. giving it away yeah yeah it looks like he gave away everything of personal value and of value that would be easy for them to take off with. Well, Gunn's going to do her best to hide it from the servant girl, but will look like she may have come to a sudden and wor worrisome conclusion about the way this is direction this is going. Brad, but doesn't want to set out. Awareness from upstairs. Yeah, one sec. Let me get that rolled. Or anything else you think might be better, but. Let's see. Sixteen. In one of the lower cabinets, and you didn't necessarily notice that it was slightly ajar early on, but as you start to really look around, you realize that it didn't quite get closed all the way. So you open it up and inside is a box and it's latched and you unlatch it. It's um, a pistol box. It's empty. Oh, that's lovely. Um, you know, I will keep well, the box with me to show. Downstairs, any other questions for her? I'm guessing I'll be with uh, with Nigel at the moment. That's looking fine. Looking over accounts and stuff. Yeah, if you look over the account stuff and the ledgers, not even going to make you roll for it. He has ledgers 
that are the real ledgers and then so that technically he could track how much money he took from the company. Like, it makes it very clear and obvious without that nice lady who's maybe a little weird, um, crazy, without her lovely little colorful lines. Fair. All right, downstairs, anything? Morgana is going to ask the girl if he, she knows of anywhere where Mr. Johnson nearby, where he might go if he wanted to go for a walk or out of the way time on his own to think. Any preferred sort of local beauty spots, that sort of thing. Yeah, beauty spots are nice places to walk. Did Morgana have the um, empathetic? I do not. Who had that? No, that's that's August, I think. And August is downstairs. When Morgana asked mm -hmm. that, August, can you roll that again? Sure. I shall pop another armor in again because it worked well last time to six ten fourteen sixteen this time it's still really good something mm. is starting to click in her head and there is a fear bubbling up it's almost as if with everything going on, she hasn't quite, and now that you guys are asking these questions, it's starting to come together for her and possibly a way that mm -hmm. Morgana is also thinking, which she may be feeding off of this somewhat. Um, I, I lied earlier. I said I didn't know where he went. I think he's going to the docks. Do you know where on the docks? She shakes her head no. You actually see tears start up. He's, he's not going to hurt himself, is he? I hope not. He's really a nice man. I promise. I don't know what you think he did, but he's really a nice man. And you We've can see the tears just start to, like, I mean, her voice is trembling, and you can see the tears just start to slowly kind of pool up. If we will, we will do everything we can. I will hand her one of my personal cards. If in the future you have any difficulty finding employment, please get in contact with me. You are clearly a very good and loyal employee. And you should not suffer for any of that. If you would excuse us, I think we need to be moving quickly. Yes, uh, I feel time is of the essence. Morgana will shout in a manner that she may have learned from a sergeant major. It sounds like she may have learned it from a sergeant major for Waymont and Nigel to get downstairs we need to be moving quickly yeah when i find the the pistol box i'm already going to be moving that way right, we might not fall by hey nigel what's going on I'll, I'll just show him the box I'll, I'll try to keep it out of her view but and when you look at the box it is obviously designed to have a gun a, a pistol nestled into it and probably bullets and things like that. And all of it's empty. Velvet line. Oh dear. Very nice. Firearms, they like... didn't fire it. <clears throat> I'm sorry, what was that, River? Firearms to identify it. You can. Nine. All right. Double checking something. 
It's a very Do you nice... know where about... Oh, sorry. No, no, you carry on. I was going to say, it's, it's a very nice um, double action revolver Colt. Uh, it does a six shot, but you can tell by the case that it has a, what we would modernly refer to as a speed loader. So basically a way to fairly quickly pop out and put in the next six. August had a question. Yeah, he will. Just, um... Oh, sorry. I was going to say, I'm going to assume you guys are talking about this in the cab heading back into town. To not waste time because it seemed like you guys were rushing. Is that, is that correct? Yeah, I would say let's get the hell out of here. In the cabin or heading back and you can decide where you're heading back because you can yell at him, but you can start in the direction of town but while yeah, you're let's... discussing and figuring this out. I, I would say the docks. It... Probably, but I'm not telling one you of the things do. that one of the things that August will have done if if we're in the cab already. Um, well, if is you need to do it beforehand. That's fine. To, yeah, he will have tried to find out, or he will have asked um, the young girl whereabouts on the docks. He was likely to have headed to if she knows. She doesn't. Um, being okay. honest at this point with you guys, she only heard. And say something about the docks to the cab driver. But she didn't hear where. And she would tell you because okay. at this point she's afraid that he's going to harm himself. If only somebody had memorized a list of where he goes on the docks. Oh, or, yeah. Um, we were and, given the address, so we have that. You guys, you guys have the of some of the places on the docks. Oh, but right. more importantly, um, I'm trying to think of a way of doing this because it's a remembering something from previously that you guys would know. Uh, just a straight perception, maybe? I mean, if it was something written down, I could use eidetic memory. It was written down. Okay, then I can do that. Yes, you can. Six percent. Holy cow! <laughs> okay, <laughs> so one of the D the two d six I have to roll rolled up three times, so I'm currently on nice. a twenty two, and that would the second one got a three, so that's a twenty five. Nice, nice. Nigel's twenty five. No, no. On, let me no. just do what these twelve oh, can do. Okay, let 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 all not a chance. Turn. Sorry, what's nah, that? not a chance. Not Three. A chance. Three. <laughs> um, Nigel. Three on a D twelve. Woo! Part of the reason you guys were looking at certain things was there was supposed to be a delivery this evening, and you guys know exactly which boat in which dock that would be at, because it was something you guys were going to be checking out anyhow this evening. 18 on a memory test. 18, you totally remember which dock and what delivery. <laughs> because the other places, quote unquote, at the docks were things like he would go to check on shipments and make sure that they went to places from time to die, and he would go to the their warehouse on the dock. So it wasn't so much of it, he has a favorite place on the dock, it was he went there for work stuff. You guys happen to know that there is a delivery tonight, this evening, soon-ish, you know, and which dock that's at and what the boat is and what the delivery is supposed to be. You happen to know all of those things already. I think we have our heading, Mr. Gibbs. Mm -hmm. So I assume you guys are heading there. That would seem reasonable. Okay. Now, you guys should probably fill each other in on the way there. But I'll stay out there and figure out what you're going to do. Well, we're going to need to be cautious because we know the man's armed. Yes, but I fear he may be pointing the pistol at himself. Correct, but if he's cornered, he could easily turn it. True. 
it's not one that you would expect to uh, use on yourself. He took a speed loader. He's planning on ambushing and trying to uh, kill whoever is uh, ambushing the uh, couriers. Yes, but he's put his affairs in order, so he may not be expecting to um, long survive that encounter. Oh, yeah. The, well, that, that doesn't is... make sense, though, because if he was just going to end it, why would he go there? I think he's going to run, then. If he's if he's got a, a weapon that will do that, he's probably going there to take out the people. If he's been working with them, he's going to cover his tracks and then run. You think this is something to do with his involvement in this thing? I think it would be foolish not to at least consider that option. Mm -hmm. It's definitely an option to be considered, to be sure. Well, all we can do is head down to the docks and uh, deal with whatever situation arises, right, in it. my opinion. Either way, we need to find the man. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. But staying out of your discussions on what your plans are, are you guys ready for it to be at the docks? I think so, yes. What was it? There was some real time blah 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 thing that I was just like, I, I kind of like the idea of I'm not going to sit here while you talk for an hour and a half of a cab ride. I'm just gonna <laughs> fast forward to, yeah, and we're walking, but in a steam coach. So you yep. guys get to the docks. There's probably three, four boats near each other. One's unloading, the other two are not unloading yet. The one that you're looking for is in the middle. It is not unloading at this moment. It is the docks, so there are some warehouses and like pubs behind you on the street. Um, but there's, you know, like they put the boat in. There's like a walkway that they kind of tie to, so they can like put the plank down and get the things off, and then they can carry it to usually some sort of vehicle nearby, unless it goes straight to a warehouse that's very close. Um, but there's always busy at the docks. There's people moving things and uh, piles of stuff in different areas which not necessarily good for easily spotting somebody necessarily. Which is also why things get jumped because there's lots of stuff and busyness and piles of boxes and things all over the place. What do you guys want to do? Uh... Well, let's go find our guy. How? Mm -hmm. All right, so we know where the ship that we're looking for is going to be coming in. Taking a look in that area, where would be the most likely positions to go to? Like, is there a sniper position? Is there boxes There's where you'd like come out of the shadows? Nearby. There's some businesses nearby that you could get up on the roof of. Um, trying to see if I can get this I'm, picture. To well, I'm thinking like cranes, warehouses. Um, there's warehouses nearby. There's probably a crane nearby. I'm trying to see if I can get this picture to come over. But it hates me. Hold on. Let's see if it'll boost it. No. Oh, don't be silly. The picture doesn't hate you. It hates everyone. It hates everyone. The computer <laughs> hates me. My bad. The computer hates me. Computer says no. Let's see. I would like to. I. You are making me mad, machine. If I were to be using my ah, uh, pistol, where would I set up? One second. I will get this image to pop up over here, so I'll give you guys a bit of an idea of what you're looking at somewhat because this is fairly typical of the area because you can kind of see that the yeah it seems to work 
So you can kind of see where there are boats that kind of line up and pop up on the side. There's some on the other side. You can see this kind of warehouse right in front. You can see where they're bringing stuff in into some areas on the other side. You can see barrels everywhere. So like the building in the bottom passenger, so right bottom right corner would be a good sniper space uh, up on top of that building, up on top of that big kind of haphazard warehousey thing on the other side. Um, there's lots of places to hide between boxes and barrels and technically half under some of those gangplank walkways. It, it's, it's, uh, well, it, it's a dock in London. It's kind of chaotic. So there's all sorts of things going on in all sorts of places. You then... could be. Yep. Yeah. Does that give you guys a better idea? Well, if a man's got a pistol, he's probably going to want to get up close. He's not going to snipe with a pistol, most likely. Uh, yes, anybody with any firearm... Yeah, no, pistols are not good for sniping, usually. Usually. Uh, the type of pistol that he has, River, not a sniping thing. Typically. Yeah. So are we playing? How are we playing this, gentlemen and ladies? Are we uh, are we just going to go up there and say, have you seen this man? How long do we have before the shipment is coming in? Um, the boat is at the dock, but it takes some time for that. And since they're not unloading yet, you feel like you have probably a half hour to an hour while they get things organized and figure out who's taking what. And because of what it is, they're probably waiting for the guards to come and pick that up in specific, if that makes sense. Because you know that they have guards who are coming to get that box and take it where it's supposed to be. So they probably a half hour-ish before... In, you don't know what the guards themselves look like, because remember, they try to keep that low-key so that they're not easy targets. Mm-hmm. But probably within a half hour or so, because they don't... It's the shipping company's problem until they get it picked up. And the shipping company does not want to be responsible for it any longer than they have to. Mm -hmm. So whatever's going to happen probably happens in the next half hour. And anything could happen in the next half hour. Well, it is one day. <laughs> I mean, somebody could blow the boat up in the next half hour. That's not likely. Likely things are the guards show up and whoever tries to stop them shows up and somehow seems like Mark is involved in this in some way or respect because he's down here now. So something's going on. So looking around, if I were to use, if I were to be using my pistol, where would I set up? Well, there's a few variables with that. It depends on what your goal is. If your goal is to steal the stuff, you'd probably want to set up not here on the docks, but be after the docks before the warehouse. Because the docks is very busy, right? And those people might jump in and get involved. If you're planning on ambushing and stealing the stuff. Which is possibly what Brad thinks is happening what other possibility or I guess in the same respect you'd want to be just off the docks too if you're trying to stop that because if that's the most likely place it's going to happen then that's also probably the most likely place to stop it from happening so well we'll is slightly more in the opinion that he's going to try and ambush the thieves but if he's trying to yeah. ambush the thieves, you're still going to want to probably be not right on top of the docks. Because if the thieves do it right on top of the docks, you have all those dock people who could be either casualties or become combatants. Because they're not going to like you beating up and stealing a delivery right in front of them. So possibly shortly off of the docks and start looking for somebody who's moving something 
like try to find who the people are who are actually moving the the box or look for people who are looking for the people moving the box now that can look for a businessman who may look a little out of place in the docks which i know may be the pot calling the kettle black in this instance but something like that yeah i would say something along the path and you guys do know where the warehouse is and you know where you guys are and there's only about five blocks in between so you guys know what the most direct pathway is head uh, along that path and look for the people that look like they're working and doing stuff but really aren't look like people who are trying to be in incognito but are moving the shipment Okay. Well, no, the, like, the person that's sweeping the same spot for, or like, oh, 10 looking minutes. Looking for the thieves. Looking yep. for the thieves who are looking for the people. Gotcha. Okay. So you're going to need some sort of perception awareness. What's everybody else doing? I'm waiting on the general consensus as to our approach. And we should just head to the warehouse. If I'm thinking we, yeah, I'm now. thinking we kind of split up. We have part of us keep an eye on where the shipment's going to be coming off and try to follow it going to the warehouse because I, I, I think we're pretty sure whatever's going to go down is going to go down at the warehouse. They're not wanting to to get an open confrontation on the docks. Either that or on one of the blocks in between. Yeah, it's the route between the block, the the, the boat and the warehouse. But... That are most likely, because the warehouse yeah. has guards, the docks has all those people. Your, your best it bet is to try to be get worth... somewhere in between where maybe there's a lull and less or it, problems. It, mm, it might be worth waiting for the stuff to be offloaded and then start moving, and then we follow the stuff. That's what I'm yeah. thinking. Yeah. Well, Just do I'll it, tell yeah. you what I'll do. I'll tell you what I'll do. Why don't you do that? And I can have a little walk down there and just sort of linger about about halfway in between here and the warehouse. That way I can see if anybody's setting up anything. I think that's what uh, River's wanting to do too. Mm -hmm. I got a 13. Okay. So you want to maybe go with River and help her search the next block or two and see if there's anybody set up? Sure. Like, I'm not the most stealthy guy, but I have no. magic. You have magic. <laughs> Do you? You hadn't mentioned. I just thought you were really good at bricklaying. <laughs> really fast bricklaying. Super fast. You have no idea. Like, I could make a fortune. All right. Do you want to? Because you're you're looking, and I don't know if you have a magical way to look. To see, or do you just want to do like an awareness to see if you can spot somebody somewhere somehow? I don't really have a magical way to look, but um, if we were to hole up in a place, I could certainly disguise this as a wall. <laughs> Good. So, do you want to do like an awareness on the way to see something on the way up? Sure thing. He's gonna play Solid Snake and dress up as a box. You hey, like don't 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 you mock that box. I am not mocking <laughs> the box. box, I'm just saying that's his plan. <laughs> that's a dangerous <laughs> box. <laughs> They've never seen a box so dangerous. I got a, I got a thirteen. You have a thirteen. So you two kind of look over the next block or two. There's several places that might, but you don't see anybody. You can get probably two or so blocks away and then start to kind of meander back this direction. Um, Nigel and I think it's Waymont. No, whoever's left. So August is there, Morgana's still there, mm -hmm. and Nigel's still there. So yes. you guys need to do some sort of perception awareness to see if you can spot the people who pick up the box. Oh, I'm making awareness. It's terrifyingly hard. 
Yeah, I'll still throw some color. I will make the anyway. perception test. Yeah, perception awarenessy type of thing. A mighty six from Morgana. Okay. Ten. Twelve. Ten. Twelve for me on awareness. All right. Uh, the 10 and the 12, you guys notice there are four guys that go onto the boat and they come back and they have what looks like a fairly heavy box, but it's not a very big box. Which, hint, hint, might be, you know. And, and we know it's just a single box. Mm -hmm. It's just a single box. Everybody else is like bringing boxes out on, you know, like carts and there's bunches of boxes or they had to have a crane to move it. This is a box and there's like four guys with it. Okay. So Leading that's... you to think that that might be what you're looking for. So now, how are you guys going to follow? Are you going to try to be stealthy when you follow? Well, I think they should be aware we were coming to assist. I don't know about that. Because we, guys... we had talked about that back when we were at the company that we were going to head here next. You, were, you guys were going to head there, but then there was all the running after Mark. Yeah, right. Mark I think we could... Person, Mark was usually the person who was in contact with security. So did anybody tell Eddington... Does that, Or do you think he Because that was last it? week. I thought we had covered that, that, that we were... Last week right. we were going to have him let them know we Your were coming were to help. help. And everything happened, and we'll say that Eddington let them know, so they're aware that you guys are going to be helping. Do you guys want to like nod, wink, or something so that they know it's you guys? Tip my hat. Tip your hat. Okay. They kind of have to give you the side eye, like they're trying to figure out. But since you guys aren't seeming to like jump them or anything. And they were expecting some help. Okay, those guys must be the helpers, right? So they seem to have accepted that you guys are not the criminals. We'll go with it. I think it's yeah. a good plan. A good right, idea so that guys... if the shooting starts, they know who not to shoot. Hopefully. <laughs> the people cross, who aren't yeah. shooting at them. The people who aren't shooting at them is usually the best way to go about that. All right. It is 1.30. We've been going for like two and a half hours. Do we want to take a break? Do people need to go to, like, you know, freshen up, grab a drink, that type of thing? I mean, I'm good, um, but... I'm good. Everybody's good? Yep. I just don't I want anybody to... I am eating like... my dinner at the moment, in fact. <laughs> okay, so we will continue. So, you guys are starting down... You got kind of out, away from the busy busyness of the dock. You're starting down one of the streets, heading towards the warehouse. You're probably about a block or so in. You guys can see River and uh, Waymont heading back towards you. Mm -hmm. Correct. Well done. Yay. And I need that awareness -y thing again from everybody. Awareness, perception, whatever you got. Oh, an 11 from Morgana. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Only a 6 from me. Not as good this time. 16. Ooh. Okay. Eight. Six, eleven. Fifteen. Six, eight, eleven, fifteen, sixteen. Got it. One second. Right. Make me get books down. All right. Making you do That's stuff. Already. <laughs> Rude. It's hard to get books off the shelf when you have to keep hold of the puppy who thinks she belongs in your lap, and the shelf is farther away from your desk. Well, particularly if that's a puppy that's much too large to actually fit in your lap. He's being very good at not being in my lap. Okay. If the dog doesn't take up your entire lap, does it? Can it really be called a lap dog? Well, technically, I refer to them as lap fungus, not a lap dog, because they are very insistent that they belong in laps. All right. On the 16th. Sonny, get out of there. Stay there. Come you on. notice Mark. On the 15th, you notice Mark. 
Mark is hiding in kind of an alley, but he's this is where that he was former military seems to have come into place. Like he has camouflaged himself to blend in very, very well. And he's not looking at the shipment right now. He's not looking at you guys. He seems to be looking up on a rooftop. Across from where you guys are about to be. Follow his gaze. Is there anything on that rooftop? Yes. Well, the 15 and the 16, when you follow his gaze, you notice that there are three people up on that roof. The 16 noticed that one of those people has a rifle pointed down. Can I pull my own rifle and shoot the gun? And you point your own rifle and shoot the gun. That is a very specific called shot, so if you go high enough, yes. But understand you're going to need a pretty high target to do that. Well, no, if you're doing a called shot, it's just you take a minus three on your roll. Yeah, I mean, that wouldn't make any sense for it to be targeting specifically a gun. That would be harder than specifically, like, your head. It's a much smaller mm -hmm. profile. But, nonetheless, I have just the so spell for this. So, because it's a, we'll say it's a negative five. So it's not that you have to roll high, it's that you take a negative to begin with. That, yeah, that I can do. But 17? 17. Oh, wow. Okay. So I guess after make 5, so 12. Alrighty then. So you shot that. Well, that's going to trigger a whole bunch of things called an initiative. <laughs> so I guess we're doing this now. We are doing this right now. Ah, River. <laughs> okay. Must guns always be the answer? Hey, it's the first time I've actually gotten to use my gun. <laughs> okay. But my melee weapons is much better. Alright. Melee weapons, what's that? Alright. It's a fancy French word for swords. That still doesn't help, I don't have that. You don't have swords? Nope. <clears throat> oh well. Um, I can't help but ever, having played Baldur's Gate recently of thinking of Nink's old phrase of SWORDS NOT WORDS! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Who has an initiative they want to give me? I have an initiative of eight. You can have it. There it is. I got a three. So, so um, so Nigel has a three, and six. It's Waymond. Waymond has a eight. And River well, it, has a... It, let's just rattle them off in the chat. That might... So, River, what was yours? Six. River has six. Uh, Morgana? Three. Morgana's also on a three. And that leaves... Um, August. August has Nine, but I put it in the chat as well. Yeah. yeah. So what good it'll do me? I mean, I've got firearms. It's a pistol. Well, <laughs> you know. Um, and then we have those guys. So we have six, five. We have... Keeping track of this sort of thing is another thing that um, Roll20 or Foundry would be good for. Oh, but then I have to learn another thing of thinging online. <laughs> what you mean typing in a typing in a number? <laughs> yeah. so sorry, I'm just another thing of thinging. <laughs> Words just, are not a good thing I, at the minute. All I, right. <laughs> it, 
I, I, and I'm, believe me, I'm not making fun of you because that is the exact <laughs> thing my mother would say. Okay. August. <sighs> no pressure. Uh, so what? Two, three people what, in the room. What's the score? Sorry. Yep. You want me to kind of give you a better picture of the scene for you? So you guys are in a Please street do. that's not super busy. Most of the people are like having dinner at this time. It's not super busy. There are a few people out milling. You've got what looks like three people up on a roof across the street. There's you guys who are on the sidewalk, right? Then there is mm -hmm. Mark, who is just kind of peeping out of a like a a very narrow between the two buildings, barely two foot alley walkway between the buildings. Then you have the mm -hmm. four guys that are in front of you, right, or behind you that are between the five of you, because two of you are coming back, three of you guys were following. You have the four guys with the box in the middle. Mm -hmm. And then from what look like people milling about, as soon as that gunshot goes off, there's four of them who are just dead set on this situation. Like, oh not God. running for cover, but are like... Yes. Looks like Guns are incredibly loud, yo. <laughs> Guns are incredibly... They, they are. I've been on many, many, many many of a range and guns can be very loud Especially guns. No, I, people, I'm period. other than those four the other people all seem to be guns are bad and they are moving but, away and these those are four actually, is it four up. people on street level and then one uh, the sniper that had the rifle there's shot three, or there's three up on the roof okay one of which had the, the sniper rifle or what you would assume is a it's a rifle right yeah then there is four more that seem to have been kind of milling around in the area. That no. the gunshot didn't make them go, ooh, maybe I don't want to be here looks. They're all more looking like, ooh, I guess we're doing this looks. So you have mm. three on the roof, four on the ground. Mark. Mm -hmm. The four guards, the box, U5. You know, something awful has occurred to me just, just right just now. We don't actually know that these guys with the rifle aren't on our side. And we're just like on anybody's side. We're just, we're just watching the box to make sure nobody like jumped out or anything. Well, they should have been wearing our team all wearing our team arm band, uh, uh, armbands or something. What did you well, forget you know, yours? Like, team... <laughs> that's the yeah, problem. Technically... We're not in a war. We don't have a uniform. Technically. The three people on the roof could be helping guard the box, and maybe we're targeting Mark. You yeah. actually do not know at this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we we do not know because now a shot has been fired and it's on, well, and it's we're, chaos. We're gonna see who's gonna shoot here. So, <laughs> uh, I Thanks, am gonna Trevor. hold my action. <laughs> so it August because... is holding action. Okay. Yeah, because I've got, I mean, I've got firearm skill, however, I'm not just going to randomly start shooting someone. Because I've only got a pistol as well, so it won't actually, you know. It, the pistol help. could shoot up there, you could shoot the people on the ground, you could possibly shoot Mark. There's, I mean, there's a few of people you could shoot. I don't, I don't know if you want That's to true. shoot them, but you could. Um, so, uh, I, I said I will hold for the moment, yeah. Okay. Then we have Way Waymont. I'm also going to hold for the moment until okay. I figure out who is supposed to be shooting who. River. <laughs> Rack another one in the hold. Okay. The person with the rifle basically screams because the gun got hit in that close to person's hands and and the gun is probably less happy as a gun and seems to basically have swung their legs over the side of this building and is scaling down the building the four guards with the box seem to be walking over towards that building where the person's climbing down
Uh, Nigel and Morgana, you're both on three. <laughs> well, nobody started shooting yet. The, our, so our guards with the box are, are heading that direction? Yes, they are heading towards the building across the street where the person is climbing down. Do you want to maybe... I don't know, awareness, perception, anything like that? I mean, I can throw that just to see if I can tell a little bit more about what's going on. I'm going to do that too. What Ooh, is Mark doing from Morgana? right now? Nope, I got a three. I have no clue what the hell's three? going on. All I know is somebody okay. got... Who else was looking? Who else was looking at the guards? Morgana. Morgana is not a spellcaster, is she? I can't remember. No, she's, she's not. Spellcaster? She's not. And what did you get? Eight. An eight? Something about their facial expression is not right for the situation. It seems very blank to you. Somewhat, we'll say out loud, okay. someone is influencing the guards, I suspect magic, and will step over, draw my sword from inside my umbrella, and put myself in a position to defend the out of it guards as much as I can. Okay. Or, you know, stab anyone they've tried, they've tried to hand the back box to. Mark? Seems to have pulled, has the pistol, maybe he even had it out, you're not totally sure already, because you were watching where his eye on sight was. And he seems to be shooting at the person climbing down. And when I say shooting at, he shot. Uh, seems to be a shoulder shot. They're still probably 15 feet in the air, and they start to fall. Well, they, they fall. Yeah. Okay, so I, I've only made an awareness. I haven't taken an actual action yet. So right. I hear so more got we're going to announce magic suspected on the guards. Yes. Okay. I'm going to try and do something sneaky here. Okay. I am going to cast a spell. And what I'm going to oh. cast is Gravitic Draw, which basically just causes two objects to pull towards one another. I am going to cast that on the box the guards are carrying and the ground. Let's stop this thing where yes. it is. Okay, that's it. That's actually a very cool idea. Do you have to use like a device for that as uh, as someone from your group? No. no, that would be a weird scientist would use a device for the enchantment. Right. All right. So, I so I have to beat the spell defense of the box, which I'm guessing isn't going to be too terribly hard. No. It's a box. <laughs> Unless, it, it could have other protections and that sort of thing on it. Um, and it's a heavy box, so going down would be sensible for a box, I think. Well, I mean, but that doesn't affect the, the spell defense. I know, but, I know. Yeah. Not okay, so I got a 14. I got a roll up there. Okay. So I'm assuming I got that. And then yes. I make rank plus will for, which is basically what they would have to overcome for the strength in order okay. to, to try and beat the effect. Um, so my will is... And you get an extra step for every five above, right? For every extra success, yes. So you, and you had a 14. Yes. So you have at least one. So that's an extra step. Okay. Um, so then six plus seven, eight. So that's going to be another... So that's a 15 total, so they would have to overcome a strength test of 15 to be able to lift the thing and overcome the effect. That's not the easiest thing for them to do. All right, we have a few other held actions. Do anyone of those want to take those while I figure out if we can strength the box? Well, what is everyone doing right now? I mean, aside from the guy who's, so, you know, falling. So there's a... Per I didn't say it was a guy. So there's a person falling. Oh, oh sorry. My, that's my gender bias going on there. It, it is. Mark he, she, that they. 
it, it's a she. I don't know if at this point you guys have noticed because you mostly saw them in the dark. There's a gun, then they start climbing down so from the back. So, um, but they, she is them. falling, and she's been shot in the shoulder because Mark shot her, and the uh, two guys who are kind of carrying the box are struggling and failing to keep the box up. The box seems to be going down to the ground. And that's what you have at this moment. So, held action. Anybody wants to use it? Is that the warehouse that they were supposed to be going to? No, you guys are about... No. This is about two blocks and you're still three blocks from the warehouse. Which makes some sense because, again, the warehouse has more guards that would jump in. You wouldn't want to be right on top of the warehouse. Okay. Um... What is that Dude. woman falling towards? Is she doomed? She's falling to the ground because she was climbing down the building. But, well, yeah, watch. is she going to land on anything, though, or is she just going to land on the pavement, in which case, uh, is she dead? <laughs> and not necessarily dead. No, but it's falling like damage is lethal fast. 15, it, it can, but 15 foot is, is survivable. The shot in the shoulder is technically survivable. Is she in good shape? No. No. Survivable? Possibly. It depends on some rules. But yeah, she is flying in it's the ground. There's nothing to break her fall. Can I break her fall? You could. You could try at least. What do you want to do? Sprint across the street. And try to like catch but her just fall. stand there. And just no, well, I'm not, no. I'm asking, like, try you, try to you know. try to catch her, basically. Because like we can't if, if she dies from this, it's not as it like we don't know who she was, what she wanted. We don't know what's going on. We need to find out. Okay, so you can totally spin across the street. I'm going to say that this is going to be a strength check to catch her without just getting, well, you know, a body falling on you from 15 feet in the air. So, yeah. I'm going to go to strength check. You don't have a trampoline spell? The trampoline no, I don't have a trampoline spell. No, I don't have a trampoline spell. I wish I could. I wish I did. I could. I could pretend there was a trampoline there, but there isn't. So I'll just have to roll my strength. And my strength, by the way, just so you know, is not good. Uh, what about the, your uh, entangle spell? Entangle I mean, to the wall. Kind of like webbing someone to the wall. I mean, maybe that you could try that if that's, you know. I mean, I kind of wanted to lock down everyone anyway. But but I then mean, again, that puts it that puts the her at risk of Mark just shooting her again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. So I think the best thing to do just now is probably just to sprint over there and try and catch her. All right, give me your strength check. All right, I'll do my best. D do you get to spend karma on attribute checks? I don't think you do. Do you? No, you don't. Yeah. Not at but this I'll let you, level. You can't. You can't eventually. But uh, there, are, there are specific ones that certain abilities do, or certain, certain professions get technically to. Technically, the rules say no. But the GM says it's your karma, and in this case, I think this is a creative idea. I don't know that it's a good idea, mind you, but I think it's a creative <laughs> idea. Yeah. So oh, I'm yeah, like, I'm it. not thinking this is a good idea either, but hey -ho. Sure <laughs> Why not? Yeah. I'll let you, because I'm nice today. Tomorrow Fine. I might not. But, you know, I, go ahead, do it. Ooh, six. Right. In that case, I got 15. Hey, you might not die. Hey, I might not die. <laughs> you do not die. You are going to take a little bit of damage because um, the human body just fell on you. Four. You did pretty well. You reduced that a lot. Um, Were you with Morgana. No, I, I was with no, uh, was River. With Morgana. So you have no idea who this is. I think. No, I was I was with River. Like, this is why we need a map. No, no, <laughs> well, no, no. Inside... <laughs> Wait, what was, was, was with River? Wait, <laughs> saw the Morgana River shot the gun River. out of the hands. Oh. Yeah. Morgana and River went inside to pretend to buy stuff. You no. did not see any of the inside staff people because you were not in that area. That's what I was checking. So you don't know who this is. Morgana and River have a chance of knowing who this is more than you would. 
However, it's not their turn anymore. Did anybody else have something they were going to do on held is actions it? before I go back to top of the round? Is talking uh, a free action? Yeah. Talking is a free action. I'm going to say, are you okay? You hear back that bastard. Anybody else? Uh, does it look like the one of the two that's still up top is concentrating on something? Yes. Um. Uh, try to try to shoot. Uh. Can can you break concentration on spell by like distracting him with a shot, or do they actually have to get hit? I think a shot could possibly cause them to have to make a test on the concentration, but I they would have a chance to ignore it. I think you could trigger a test for it though by sh making a shot. It depends on the spell, so you may not know. And yeah, oh, yeah. without some magic knowledge. Yeah. So the one that looks like they're concentrating, I'm just going to shoot. You're going to try to shoot? Okay. <laughs> just shooting everybody today. Stop shooting people! <laughs> they're the thieves! All right. We don't even know that. Uh, 20. Okay. Um, I think that increases your damage by two extra. Well, I guess it depends on the weapon. Because you have two more successes, so whatever those two successes mean step-wise for that weapon. For, are you it's using a, a rifle or a pistol? Rifle. That for a rifle, it's usually plus four for additional success then. So the, if you get two That's extra successes, that would be plus eight. Yeah. Yeah, guns get scary fast. Yes. Yeah, I'm trying to find. Okay, so eight over my. Sorry, how much damage? Oh, no, I, I, I just, so step seventeen. Whatever you have plus eight. Yeah, whatever the the base step damage of the weapon is. Plus eight steps. Well, on step 17, I only did 12 damage. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty then. Those four guys who are kind of very interested are now running full tilt, charging River. Like, all of them are. River, what's your physical defense? River. Yeah, it just takes a little bit to scroll up. Okay. Ten. Ten. Okay. Okay, well. Two of them hit. And one did well. But I got uh, um, Can I avoid blow? You can try. Um, one of them hit with a 14, and the other one hit with an 18. And while you try to avoid blow, I'm going to look up, make sure I have these numbers on dagger correct. It's usually going to be either 
two or three steps plus the strength. That's what I was thinking, but I wanted to make sure that I didn't mess up and do it too high. Okay. All right. What's your avoid blow? Uh, not good enough for either. Okay. Okay. So. So River getting shanked. Yes, River is getting shanked twice. So that is a six and a twelve. One is a six, the other is a twelve for damage. Is that enough to wound you? And you get to take your armor off if you've got any. Yeah, you can if you've got any armor. Yeah. Um yeah, the twelve is enough to do a, a wound. Armor? Yep. That, okay. Lay down. I know. It's not time to go anywhere. Alright. Anybody else with held actions? Okay. Double check this really quick, because I think I'm going to need your mystical defense forever. Unfortunately, River kind of made herself the target by shooting people. <laughs> River's the only one who has very clearly attacked someone. The rest of us still have no idea what the hell's going on. Ten as well. Ten as well? Okay. Is it's sense, that's what I thought. And it goes against the mystical defense. Okay, good, good. All right. Just have to be 10. Well, I beat the 10, but I didn't get any extra. So effects is will plus strength. All right. Eight. As basically a charge of some sort just kind of zips into you. It's very painful. Which takes us to August. <laughs> I have got absolutely nothing helpful to add to this combat, to be honest. Because um, there's no point trying to shoot into the combat that is happening around river shooting into a melee um, is very dangerous yes yeah 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 so i'm not gonna do that and i have no melee skills was there a visible effect to the the spell that went off that hit river yeah it looked like a little charge of electricity okay so we we, we get a zappy zap mm -hmm. okay could august see where that came from Yes, August could totally see where that came from. Came from the one of the two figures left on the top of the roof, the one that oh right okay that um, River just shot. Apparently, River shot the one guy. And that one is a guy in particular, and he just sent back an electrical charge at River. Um, I could try shooting him, I guess. You totally can. Yeah, pistol short range is 20 meters, so you should be okay with that. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yes, British Joel. <laughs> Ages and clerics, take those bitches down. No, I'm saying, I'm kidding. The murder hobos. Hey, not the cleric, not the cleric. <laughs> if the other side is a cleric, you, take the healer take out. Take them down, because then they heal everybody. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, all right, sorry, that, August, that, what are you doing? Fair enough. Uh, nine. Uh, I'm, just I'm just adding up my uh, firearm skill. Hang on. Nine. So that's the eight. Oh, not very good. That's an eight. An eight. No. 
You so don't miss by much, much, but you do miss. Yeah, I've uh, almost run out of karma. Calm down. N nobody has to die today. Waymon will say <laughs> to the woman. You might want to tell River that. <laughs> so, you... Somebody needs to knock you... River out. <laughs> I swear. Are you doing? Right. Are you holding any rest of your action, or are you just going to keep a hold of the woman that you caught? Well, I'll let her. I'll let her down on her feet. Okay. Are you trying to keep a hold of her? Restrain her? Not particularly. Not particularly. I'm just going to ask her. Who are you? Calm down. No one needs to get hurt. Who are you? Do you hold the rest of your action? Yes. Okay. That's what I need to know. River. Um, you know what? I'm gonna follow the oh, British Joel's advice and geek the mage first. Okay, so you're gonna shoot the guy you just shot. Yep. Wait, did we need to roll initiative again for the next round? I forgot to do that. I'll do it this next one. I'm sorry. That was my bad. I realized it after we were halfway through, so. I didn't realize I, we were on the next round already, so. No, I'm sorry. That was why I was making sure that all the held actions were accounted for. That's my bad. Next round, I'll make sure not to do that. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was a very short Where's first round, Brad. The... Everybody just sort of stood around and went, what? Yes. <laughs> no, Brad, I just didn't what? realize we were on the next round because nobody asked for initiative. It, that's my fault. I forget that this is one of the few systems where you do it every round. So yep. I, I, I'm sorry. That was my bad. I, I realized it halfway through and was going to fix it this next time. My bad. 14 to hit. Oh, yep, that'll hit. And that'll be an extra success. Twenty. Oh, All right. The woman in Waymont's arms cries. Sees the sec. Here's the second shot. Looks up at the guy up above, and she starts to try to run. Since you have a held action, you could try to grab her before she runs. I mean, I could follow her. Or you could follow her. I'm just... Because you have a held action, so I want to make sure that, like, if you wanted to jump in, you could still follow her. It's up to you what you do. I just... I, w I will follow her. What's going on? So I will say. So you're running after her, yelling what's going on? <laughs> um, the guards... Are still trying to move that box across the street. Two of the guys, bad guys, maybe, that were waiting, that had ganged up on River at this point, seem to be like, ah, oh, no more of that crud, and they start to run. Two of them. I was going to try to kill River still. But now there's only two trying to stab you instead of four. That's good, right? And now does your defense go down since you took a wound? So are you down to nine? No, defenses are not affected by wounds. Just, just okay. actions. So still a ten. And the dice don't like me, only one hit. Fine. Ooh, piece of candy. That is a 16 damage. The one who did knife you knifed you good. Oh, 
Would a 27 avoid blow get me out of that? Yes. Boiled again. Oh, shoot. No, no, that's fine. Morgana and Nigel. Yep. You guys are ending this round. What do you two want to do? So what the hell do we see? Because I'm still confused. Okay, so so, so you had the, the, the four guys that you were watching who had the box. And they just kind of you turned and just started to walk it across the street where up on the top of that building there were three people. River followed Mark's gaze and noticed the three people and shot one of them who had a rifle. That one starts to try to climb down. It's a woman. Oh, she shot the rifle. Yeah. Then she tries to climb down, and River shoots her again as she's climbing down. And she gets Mark shot. Mark shot her the second she time. Starts, the second time she shoots her in the shoulder. She starts to fall when Waymont catches her. The four guys who, instead of running at the first gun, had taken extreme interest in the situation, all four gang up on River. And are trying to stab River. River shoots the guy up there. He then sends some sort of bolt after her. She then shot him again. She gets knifed some more. Most of you are standing there going, what the Hades just happened? See, I tried a different word there, Brad. I was doing good. <laughs> there is one guy up on the roof who's injured. Seems to have two bullet holes in him. There's somebody else up with him. There is the woman whose gun was shot and she was shot that Waymont caught who is running away. Waymont is chasing after her going, wait, I don't know who you are. What's happening? The four guards seem to still be in some sort of trance and they are trying very hard to pull that box across the street. Okay. Like so all of them are shoving that box, working together to move it across the street. And they seem very oblivious to everything else going on. So what is Mark doing? Well, Mark goes after you. So, so he's charging his way after us? Well, Mark's action is technically after you guys. Because you guys are the end of you guys, but then there's Mark. Well, but like, like, but it, so if there's, I hold action Mark and see what he's like, moving to do, I should still be able to move before him. It looks, you could. It looks as if Mark is charging after the woman who's running away. So he seems to be following the woman who was shot in the shoulder by River, Waymont who caught her and is chasing after her. He is heading in that direction. But Mark if shot her in the shoulder. Death, Mark is planning on shooting her again. So he's not like it doesn't look like he's going to be running full tilt. It looks like he's going to shoot as he's moving in that direction. So that is probably what Mark seems to be doing. And there's still Nigel, Morgana, and Mark to end the round. Pull the end it. Re-roll initiatives. What is Nigel and Morgana doing? Uh, Morgana will loudly shout, Mark, stand down, we'll deal with this. And then if she's got time, Waymont, stop her. And then we'll go into Malay to assist River. Okay. You can totally yell all of that stuff. That's easy and fine as you're moving to... Um, and there's only two guys left on River. Two of them have decided that this is some old bullshit, uh, all bad stuff, and that they don't necessarily want to die over it. So you can totally, and since you're, he's not even paying any attention to you, it's basically like um, a sneak attack almost. So I'll Ooh, give blind you, side. Yeah, blind side. So I'll give you a couple of steps up because he's not noticing you at all. So you can roll that while Nigel, what are you up to? Okay, so if Morgana's going to help River, I will go to help Waymont and start running that way. Okay. Which means, can Mark get that shot off? 
Uh, 14 for Morgana's melee attack. That will definitely hit, and you have a raise. Yay, Mark. Yay, Karma. Oh. The woman running's no longer running. She has been shot, and she is down, and it is not looking good for her. Oh, shit. Mark has karma too. Um, thirteen damage from Morgana. That's good. You can cause a wound with that. Good job. Which will also probably cause him to not want to do this anymore because, you know, being shanked hurts. I'm just saying. New initiatives. This time I don't forget. Understood. So Different color dice for different people. Yeah. Okay, I don't. I didn't see what that one was. Okay. I got five. Waymont has a five. Got five. All right. August has a four. Mm-hmm. Has a four. River has a seven. It looks like Moon has a five. Lady Morgana has a six. I think I'm missing Brad's. I'm Nigel. in there. I get a nine. Oh, you got a nine. Oh, there you are. Sorry, you have a nine. Okay. All right, so that means, Nigel, you are at the top. Okay, so, well, we just saw Mark essentially shoot a woman. Now, he shot uh, her twice now, technically. No. I, I, I mean, like, like no, no, shoot, no, no, her, no, shoot her down. Her. Yeah, no, he shot her down, yes. Shoot her down. So, I don't want to shoot him just yet, but I am going to draw my pistol on him, but I'm going to hold action. Okay. I will say this. He doesn't seem to notice you. He is very single vision right now. Very purposeful, intent-wise. Um, so you're holding. That puts us at him. So, if anybody's noticed about what that's going on. Alrighty. That puts us to River. What's your dex? I think it's an 18. Yeah, that'll beat their decks. So, River, you go first. Hold my rifle in my right hand, uh, left hand pull my revolver, and shoot the one that Morgana did not stab. I mean, isn't a rifle, rifle like a two-handed weapon? She's just holding on to it to so uh, it's not touching the ground. She's using the revolver as a one-handed weapon, which it is. Okay, okay, I get it. It probably can be, and the truth of the matter is, is she's in this close of a distance. There's not much difference between your right and left hand, depending even with hand dominance. Well, and True. the rules don't account for that either. So, uh, well. As someone who knows about these things, it, it in this distance, it's not going to matter. Because it's basically point blankish. No, granted, it's but, right but we, don't, we don't have... Uh, effectively, everybody's ambidextrous. There's no yeah. rules for offhand. Well, the guns actually are more so than you'd think anyhow. But anyhow, so what's your... Um, to hit? What's the negative for one wound? Um, do you only have one? That second one hits you pretty hard, too. 
Yeah, I got the oh, one well, you, from the you, one. You got out of, you avoided. You avoided. It's a negative one step to everything, except for your... Um, well, well, negative one to actions, so your defenses action, aren't affected. So your defenses aren't affected, too. So, I got 17 to hit. Well, that will definitely give you an extra success. And 8 damage. Okay. So, the two mooks disengage and start to flee. And that is what their action is. Which takes me to Morgana. So the mooks mirror fighting and all, all the mooks on the ground are now fleeing. Yes. The four guards are still diligently trying to move that box across the street. Are you... Give me a perception check. Give me a sec. Sure. Uh, a one. A one? Okay. So there you go. What do you do? I'm gonna... St Trying to decide. Um, I'll move over to stay near where the guards are with the box. So if anyone appears to take it off them, I'm in a position to try and stop them and deal with them. Um, can I use taunt to attract Mark's attention? You could. Let me know when you have a number. I will basically tell him what uh, probably does count as something of a taunt and insult, suggest that he's making a complicated situation much more complicated. Um, 12, 16. Oh, wow, yes. Um, you totally get his attention, and it's almost as if he didn't even see you at first. Now, let's see, who goes after you? You are here. So. Oh, so it's Waymont and Mark. Waymont, what do you want? Well, do? I'm gonna rush over to the side of the woman and kneel down and look at it and go, oh, oh, oh dear. Um, I don't know what to do because I don't have any skills in healing at all. <laughs> you can do what most people do, which is at least try to cover the blood coming out yes that that is what i will do i will try to i will try to stop the blood from coming out it's not gonna work it's but i will try <laughs> but that's what people do like that's that's that's, mm -hmm. that's uh, you know so that is okay mark looks at <laughs> he um, just comes over and goes that's not supposed to be out of here that's supposed to be in there <laughs> right yeah wait a minute so mark looks at morgana because of the taunt and just then shakes it off like like almost as if didn't see you didn't recognize that you were here doesn't and just shakes his head and starts running at first it seems like he might be running towards the box but he's not he's running towards where that building is that the two people were up on top of but he doesn't try to climb the building he's trying to go around towards the back of the building he's running that direction which is because you, well, never mind. You, you got a very low score on that perception check. Never mind. Um, that takes us to uh, August. Hold, hold on. I got a held action. Yes, you do. When I see Mark starting to run, I am going to do, again, my gravitic draw. This time I'm going to target Mark in the ground. And let's just keep him in place. Okay, so it's against his mystical defense. It will be against his mystic defense, correct. <laughs> um, and that's going to be... Let me get back over to those dice... Uh, that is a 10? No. 
Okay, I can throw karma. Yes, you can. Dang, that one was cocked. Uh, twelve. Damn it! I was hoping you'd fail that one miserably because you were so close. So I, I might have gotten higher on the first a one anyway. Very hard time. Mark is having going to have a very hard time. What does Mark have to beat to continue forward? And this is going to be. Out of character, it was an eleven. As soon as you threw karma, I knew I was. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it. Sorry, sorry. I'm not supposed to say that word. That's fine. Uh, seventeen. Ooh. I GM throw things at you. All right. <laughs> August. He, August. He trips and he can't get up. Kind of, yeah. Well, we'll see. He may, he may be throwing some. Yeah, we'll see. He's very dedicated to what he's trying to do right now. August, uh, do you want to do a perception check before you do anything? Yeah, I think I probably better have because the shooting he's the guys where everything's at. on the roof is not helping. Um, yeah. Let's throw one of my remaining points of karma into the perception tip. Awareness test. The eight likes me again. Um, uh, that would be a 29. Okay. In total. There's nobody right. up on the roof anymore. And your brain says, click, click. It didn't... Sh there was no, like, spark towards River or anybody else. Mm -hmm. The last couple of seconds. Whoever was up there, they left They're while gone. everyone was dealing with the Foron River. Wait, wait, wait. There could be so, a difference. The is there a wall on the roof? Is there a wall on the roof? No, there's not a wall on the roof. So the four who were on river, two of them left a little while ago. The last two just left. They ran off after, you know, river shot one. You stabbed mm -hmm. one. They, were, they left. So all that's in the vicinity currently is the four guys who are guarding the box who are still moving the box very slowly across the street there is the woman bleeding out in front of Waymont and there mm -hmm. is a very angry uh, Mark who is trying to get up and continue towards the general direction that the two on the roof would have been going That leaves those guys who are moving the thing. Mm. And we would be at the top of the next round or leaving initiative. Yeah, I think I will start heading around the back of the building to see what there is there and if I can see anybody else and, you know, figure out which direction they've gone. Okay. The, the two from the roof. So you're running the way that Mark was headed to try to get towards yeah. the back to see if you can see if they went down the back. Gotcha. Yeah, just to see if I can figure out what was going on, yeah. All right, so you are running around the building. At this point, that takes care of everybody unless there's a held action that I've forgotten. Okay. No held actions I've forgotten. Do you guys want to still be in initiative or do we want to withdraw from initiative? Are we still in combat, or we're just in chase so mode right now? now, there's a woman who's probably dead. There's Mark, who's having trouble getting off the ground. There's the four guards trying to move the box across the street. So I would say you are no longer in combat unless you want to shoot Mark or the guards. And August is running around the building to see if August can catch the ones who are up on the roof. Yeah. Well, August okay. might still need to be an initiative, but I think we're the rest, the rest of, of really us are, are clear. Not. So. Take one of the guards. Sorry, what are you doing? Like grab the shoulder and shape them. Try to draw them out of whatever trance they're in. 
They don't seem to really... They just continue. I am going to disarm Mark. Mark kind of snarls at you. It's not... It's that I, someone is so angry, it's not necessarily you, right? If that makes sense? Mm-hmm. They're getting away. Why don't you tell us what's going on first? Uh, somebody? Anybody? <laughs> help? Okay. Somebody, anybody help from Mateway Does Mark. anybody have medical Ooh. knowledge? I mean, I don't think any of us do. Nope. Nope. I've got an aspirin. <laughs> that's that is not that's going to fix no. this. Like, literally, that's what I have. Okay. August, what is your mystical defense? Uh, nine. Nine, okay. I'm going to make sure that I do this right. That is what I'm thinking. And... Uh-oh. Okay. All righty. Sweet. All right. Duration. Rank plus eight rounds. Rut row. <laughs> All right. Um, magician makes an effect test. The result becomes the target number for which you escape. So your target number is a will dex. It's going to be a will test. So I need a will test. Step six. Be nice, D10. Be nice. Two. Two. You Two. You cannot see anything. You are blind. You will be blind for a little bit. Which Excellent. is probably very scary. Yeah. You suddenly be blind. I'm just going to say. For me, that would be very yeah. scary. Okay, he will just that's... stop. Do you yell out for anybody? Do you try to, or you just freeze? He will just stop and try not to panic for the moment. Okay. Jumping back over. Mark is still trying to get up and move. And he is... That 17 is really hard, Brad. I just want you to know that. That's hey, it's not my fault the D6 likes me today. How long does that go? Uh, let's see here. Um, it goes off instant. Actually, I don't think it has... Yeah, duration. Getting it pulled up here. Sure. So it's written as an instantaneous effect, but it doesn't say how long it's an effect for. Um, so I mean, it, how many it, ranks do you have? I'd rank rounds probably, so it probably would have worn off, but you know, long enough for me to disarm him, and then it probably would have worn okay. off then. So then we're gonna go with that is that it's worn off, which means it's worn off on the box. So. They, as soon as it wears off, they pick the box up, they take it across the street, they put it down basically right about where you could have climbed straight down and gotten the box from the roof. And then they all seem to kind of wake up like, wait, what, why, what, what happened? Mark, as soon as he can, he takes off around to chase after people. He, you hear him say something because you had asked, you know, what is going, what's going on. And... They killed, and I'm trying to remember how many people got killed in the three different attacks so far, but I think it was something like nine people in the three robberies that have happened, or two robberies. And so he basically, they killed X 
of my guys, and he's off and going. I'll be following Mark. More guy will be following Mark. I'm going to keep pressure on the wound here. <laughs> <laughs> perception? What I mean, I? It, is it, is it going to take perception to find out that she's dead already? Yes. <laughs> but it's a very low perception check. <laughs> she's one of the thieves who were here to stop you, fool. So what? That doesn't mean she needs to die. <laughs> Eleven. That's very fair. Eleven. Yeah, she's somewhere in all this, the, the chaos and the commotion, she slipped away. She's no longer there. I Given was. she's guilty of murder and theft, she's just leaving early. So like right. the rush. Those of you who are around after Mark, you will <laughs> find August. He's probably. Seems... Go ahead. He's probably sat on sat on the floor, basically. Um, trying to, you know, wave his hands in front of his face and muttering obscenities under his breath. So Currently. as you come around the corner, Mark keeps going. You, The rest of you see August not acting terribly August-like in this instance. Uh -oh. Probably a little panicky, waving his hands in front of Very. his face, mm -hmm. sitting in the middle of the alley. Which is dirty. Nobody wants to sit in the middle of an alley. Yeah. Those of you who follow, really. what are you doing? I'm going to keep pace with Mark. You're just going to blow by, by August, too. And keep pace with Mark. Gotcha. Who else ran around the building? Morgana will stop to see what's up with Mark. With August? No, yeah, with August. Sorry, yes. What happened to you, old chap? Uh, he's just waving his hands in front of his face, panicking and swearing under his breath. I will put a hand on your shoulder. You're obviously not okay. What happened? Uh, I'm presuming he recognises Morgana's voice. Yes, easily. I can't see anything. Looking at his eyes, there's not so like, yeah, it doesn't look like he's been had something sprayed in his face or burns or something else. No. I think their mage put a spell on you. Right. I honestly have no idea how long that will last. I'll... If you take my arm, I'll lead you to the others. The river's gone after Mark and the people on the roof. Okay. And everybody else is still at the front of the building with Waymont? I, I think it was just me and Waymont, and at this point I will come over, put a hand on his shoulder. That There's nothing else you can do. We need to assist. I know, I know. By about the time that Morgana gets August around to the front, August, you can mm -hmm. see again. It's it's suddenly as it came, it went away. It, right. Okay. Waymon will stand up. Better. His gloves have been dyed red, That's and true. much much of his forearms. <laughs> One should not treat life so casually, in my opinion. I'm going to pop back over to River. River's following Mark. Mark gets about another block or so and kind of pauses and is looking around and just kind of almost screams in frustration. Where did they go? Where did they go? River. Uh, 
Would hunting help me in this? It could. I mean, it's not... I think it would be harder, but yeah. You could try it. Eight? No. It's, there's been too many people in this area. It's not. And it, Mark is just beyond livid, frustrated at the moment. And he's, he can't figure out where they've gone. And he's saying things like, they're not getting away with this. They're not going to get away with what they've done. I'm going to leave you two for a second. Pop back over to the front of the building. Uh, I'll just pop something in the chat. Yes. August yeah. Morgana says, thank you for your sis. My vision has returned. Yes. I would think August would still look very shaken. Like that's, <laughs> very. that's an important <laughs> thing and that people don't think about when you lose how scary that would be. Well, well, that is good news. Let's try and work out what there is to work out. Morgana will go and have a look at the situation make sure the security guards are still are okay and now on watch of the box and go and see look at the dead body okay yeah the security guards are shaken and very confused they seem to remember walking down the street and now they're on the other side of the street and there seems to be chaos All right like they seem to have i was walking i was walking and then what the fuck happened or sorry what the <coughs> heck what the heck happened i'm trying brad All right so that's where they're at the body in front of you, Morgana will totally recognize and so will River. Who do, I, who do I recognize it as? It's Hilda, the female security officer from the front of the building that had an it that was um, interested, possibly suspicious or jealous about Henry. We'll look around, step over to where the rest are and say, the woman is Hilda. She works security at the people we're working for. Not I had some suspicions she, she was... A... I don't believe she actually was in the first place. I suspect she was the source. I see. Mark was trying to stop the thieves, and possibly still is. Does anybody, like, rifle through her stuff? Like, I'm not suggesting that you should do this, I'm just asking so that I know. Not really. That'd be no. kind of disrespectful. Well, and like I said, it's, it's just... It's potential evidence. It, it could be, but that's why I'm asking. I'm going to pop over really quick back over towards River and Mark. River, what are you doing? Mark, can you think of any doctors in this area? Okay. Back on the docks. They need to find the sawbones. Back on the docks. Um, what was his name? He's a vet, but sometimes he does people. Which is usually horses, but sometimes people. What was his name? Where was he at? And he's, like, processing a little slower, trying to bring his brain into that thought process. And then he starts taking off again. I will so follow him. That's the way he was coming, because he's heading back towards the docks. I will follow him, keep with him. So you're following him. The other four of you, you have four confused guards and a dead woman. What are you doing? Right. Morgana will you're tell the security to guards yes. to complete their job. That, okay, yeah, we, we can do that. They're, they're still rather kind of bamboozled, but they pick up the box and start heading towards the warehouse. <laughs> That, that we know how to do. We can do that. 
Um, somewhere in this time frame, you will probably give me a perception awareness check, everybody. That's sure. not River. That's not River and Mark. <laughs> Ooh, an 11. Okay. A 10. Good enough. Yeah, I just rolled a one on a willpower check to try and start thinking more clearly as August. Nah, yeah, you, I, I'm not, not like, going to roll that. <laughs> I, I only got a six on awareness, so. The So, August and Nigel are too preoccupied with either, oh my gosh, I was blind, or how does this fit together? Morgana and Waymond notice Mark and River about a black up heading back towards the docks. Where are they going? I don't know, but maybe we should follow. And what do we do about the women here? Hilda, wasn't it? We'll have to come back. I, I don't think we can wait. There's not a lot we can do for her at the moment, unfortunately. Morgana is clearly not... He's desperately trying to keep calm on matters but is just trying to think of practicalities rather than being utterly cold and ruthless um she will tap august on august if you come with us we may need you mm, attempt to sure. use our polite but insistent instruction to break through his haze yeah right. he will right follow along so you four are now headed where the other ones are that direction. Yes. Okay. That's where Morgan is going. That's where Morgan is going. Nigel. <laughs> yeah. No. It's... Nigel. That that August. is the direction to go. That is the direction to go. Everybody's going that way now. Yes, uh, I will go that way also. But I am going to cast a quick illusion to hide the body, so that it doesn't get robbed. That's not a bad idea, especially if you kind of gently pull it out of the walkway like um, near the building in an alley where it won't be as easily tripped over? Could do, but that would leave a big trail of blood. The illusion can cover that. Right. Tripping over it would definitely break the illusion a lot sooner than the blood would. True. Well, I'll do that then. Okay. Um, you want to roll to see how good you did on it or just... Sure, I will oh, do this. Okay. I'll do this thing just because I like you. <laughs> Glad somebody likes me today. Right, so that's a successful casting because I got a because I got an eleven and it needs an eight. That's good. And as for the effect test, um, you said it was just willpower, right, Brad? Yeah. Well, oh, well, 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 plus, well, plus rank. Well, well, plus rank. 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 Yeah, well, plus rank, which would be direct 10, which is 2d8 at the moment. Uh, got a 13. So, the, so it's 13 to notice it. All right. And that's pretty good. So, you guys are chasing after. Back to River and Mark, who are about a block, block and a half ahead of you guys at this point. He seems to stop a little erratically, almost stumbles over himself, and then he turns down an alley. Those of you following will kind of see this and be able to follow. He's shortcutting his way. He then, you guys are all kind of weaving through this. He then sees them up ahead and charges full on to try to tackle, stop them something. River, do you want to just let him proceed to do this? Do you want me to step into initiative? Because at this point, it would be you, Mark, and them. So what, what's happening? So Mark basically knows kind of a shortcut, and so he's led you because you're following Mark, and you guys now see them. He is charging at them. Basically, it looks like, because he doesn't have a gun anymore, because somebody took that. It looks like he is charging at the guy that was casting and bolted you earlier. It seems to be his target at the moment, and he seems to be charging forward. 
So I think we're slipping into initiative again. Yeah, I'll I'll let him. I'll hold. Um, I'll, I'll hold my pistol on the other one. I knew we were gonna shoot him. <laughs> so so he tackles the guy and seems to be trying to. Well, probably punch his face in to be honest, but we'll we'll come around to that. Um, the, there's the other person with him, which at this point, you guys really haven't seen or heard anything of. It's a woman. Morgan, or sorry, River, you will know who both of these people are. I mean, if you, you hadn't really done it much thought process on this at this point, but now that you're sitting here holding your action, seeing them fairly close, that's Henry, and the other figure is Sarah. Sarah is looking at this, looking at you. Has this look back at Henry like she wants to help him. But self-preservation seems to have went out and she is going to start to run. Sarah, I would recommend you sit your rear down before I have to shoot you. She doesn't even look at you. She ran. She's running. This is an exit stage left. Uh, aim for a kneecap. Okay. The rest well, of you are, oh, sorry. The rest of you are rolling around the corner, basically, seeing Mark is on top of the guy, punching him. And it looks like the other figure is a female, and she's starting to run. And it looks like, it looks like River's going to shoot her. River, what was your to hit? Twelve. Twelve? Well, that's got an extra success. Wait, did you take the negative three for the call shot? Yep. Okay, then yep, you still have an extra success. Damage. Nine. Nine? All right. Everybody else, let's we're going to do this as an initiative. So everyone give me an initiative so I know who's going when. Fourteen. Waymon had a fourteen? Waymon had a fourteen. Three, three for Mangana and six for Nigel. Okay. Nigel has a six. Morgana has a three. Uh, let's see. River has a three. Um, August has a one. Another char a character appropriate one. Yeah. Yeah. August has had a rough day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's, everybody's it's really, had a really rough day. <laughs> All right, Waymond, you are the top of the round. Waymond. Yes, uh... Hmm. Well, what's happening in front of me right now? So, what's happening is, is Mark seems to be on top of a guy punching his, heck in, his head in, basically shouting about, you killed all of them, you didn't even have to kill them. You something, something curse words, right? There seems to be a female who is starting to run, to flee, that River has shot in the leg. Again with this! Right. <laughs> right, I, I, I am going to I'm going to snap my fingers and uh, tie down that woman. Okay. Using magic. Because my <laughs> god, let's do something non lethal. Why not? <laughs> and that'll be against her mystic, right? Yeah. All right, so I need to roll to see if the spell actually happens first. Yes. I just assume it'll happen. I mean, lots of people do, evidently. Yeah. Right, so it says that the difficulty is their magic defense. What is our magic defense? Her magic defense is a 7. Then I have defeated her magic defense, because I got rolled a 10. So she is now... 
bound. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. Thanks Make an effect test for the amount of... No, right, different one. Uh, da, 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 da. Test against character's missed defense. Uh, so the highest missed defense in the group. I don't want the target number. Successful targets entangled with a takes a penalty of the magician's rank plus one for all each of the extra successes that the actions. So she takes a penalty of uh, three, I think. To try to, to end it. Yeah, to try to go. She, also, she has another Chris of a wound, so it's going to be hard for her to go very far. Um, Mark is just pounding whoever he's got held down, yelling about how they killed and didn't need to and stuff like that. Um, Nigel. Okay. Um... Well, the woman's pretty much dealt with. I don't know how well we're going to be able to get through to Mark here. I mean, I can try to shout at him to stand down. But I don't think it's going to do a whole heck of a lot. It is your choice. Uh, yeah, that, I mean, that's pretty much all I really yeah. can do, I think. You yell at him to try to stand down. I, I will yell try at him. To, you you have him stand charisma. down. Try try uh, charisma or something. I I know uh, I know what I'll do. He's ex military, right? Yes. I will tell him. St you have him, son. Stand down. That's an order. And we'll trigger that that order response. I, like we'll, this. I will well, throw well, karma. We'll, we'll see if this works. Do that. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Gonna go against his social defense. I like this. Yes. Yeah. I got an eight. I'm gonna give it to you. I like it. He actually stops, pauses, and starts to kind of back off a little bit. It's. It you have. All we need to do is get him to ready. stop. We're good. Yeah. That's all I'm going for. The guy who he was pounding on at this point morgana you would recognize at least somewhat if not anything else the woman who seems to be bleeding from the knee that's sarah who is that lower clerk assistant and you think that the guy that's but he's kind of a little beat up upon you think that that might be henry who is the charming salesman how henry wonderful is trying to like scooch back and away he's prone and he's like literally trying to wiggle away from mark who's kind of blinking out of the red haze he was in um, towards Sarah... henry sorry sorry towards henry just stay where you are sarah is whimpering and bleeding. That's what that's what she's saying. Um, which puts us at Morgana and River. And Morgana is telling them to basically to basically tell them both to, to, to stand yeah. down and requesting everyone else make sure they're all secured. She'll head over towards the woman herself and River? do the securing over there. Take something to try to tie her up. She's already having a hard time moving between the shot and the knee and <coughs> River. What are you doing? Uh, I'll go over and uh, um, pro probably apply pressure above the knee on, on Sarah. August. There's nobody else that's running away or anything now, is there? No. That um, I can see. Sarah is being tied up by Morgana. Henry. Uh -huh. 
has this, you know, thought about fleeing, but at the same time, at this point, it's not going to go terribly well. So he's kind of paused. Mark isn't doing anything at the moment. He's kind of processing and pulling out of the red haze of they killed nine of my men. Uh huh. So um, that is that is the scene in front of you. I will basically go and stand next to Henry and make sure he doesn't make any sudden moves. He can, you know, probably just about manage that. Just stand over there and be like, you just stay down, dude. Yeah. Okay. All right. I believe that's going to take us back out of combat, though. Because I don't know how much more those two can pull off. What are you guys going to do now? Someone tying up Henry? Um, if somebody gives me some rope, I can start doing that. Alright, so we got the two targets restrained. That's what Mark was after. So I'm going to try to get in his field of vision and say, let's try this again. What happened? In all truth, he's kind of shell-shocked-ish. And he just looks at you and goes, They killed them. They didn't have to kill the guards. Why? Nine people lost their lives for, for what? Some rocks? Some hunks of metal? They didn't have to kill them. Dirty pieces of trash. He starts to get a little more coherent-ish. It's fuzzy, kind of almost distant sounding at times. Apparently, while you guys were investigating, he started to actually put the pieces together and figure out who did it. Generally, what he's saying has happened is a lot of what you guys were looking into. Hilda is on the security team. She had access to when the deliveries and all of that. Henry apparently was romancing not just Hilda, but Sarah and also Charlie. using them to get different pieces of information to pull the heists off. The CAD. Apparently, what you can kind of switch, because at this point, Henry may talk a little bit in it, but the general gist of what you're getting is, is that Henry has some sort of actual relationship with Sarah, but he was using Charlie and Hilda to get information. He then hires the thugs, and he won't necessarily tell you how he's done some of it, but you can tell that there's some sort of magical, he gets them to put the box wherever he wants the box. The hired henchmen basically slip the other people's throats, pull the bodies off to the side type of thing. They walk away with whatever they wanted, pay the henchmen, move on. Things were getting a little heated. This was going to be the last before they tried to go somewhere else and, you know, lay low at least for a bit and then figure out their next heist. And they would have left Hilda as a scape and Charlie as scapegoats. Mark seems angriest about the fact that, like, he's mad that they were robbing the store because he helped build this thing for decades. But the fact that they killed the security guards, they killed people on his team when they could have just left them dazed and confused or tied up or whatever. I and mean... He... Go ahead. I, I don't want to be that guy, but he was also robbing the store, technically. 
Oh, yeah, I mean, he doesn't even deny that. He was angry. He was bitter. Wasn't the right thing to do. In truth, he gave that business his all, his life. Somewhere well, in there, he somewhat feels like he's owed that. And somewhere in there, he's kind of disconnected from it. Um, anybody with oh, ooh, 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 that empathic? That would be good right now. Uh, bear with me just one second, yeah. Sorry, I was just updating the notes. Yeah. Uh, well, let's see if this will actually work. Shall I throw one? Of my, yes, let's throw one of my last points of karma into it. And see if my dice play for me. 56. That's all right. He snapped out of it a bit. Two of the dice have exploded. Ooh. Yeah, the eight and the six. One of the sixes. And the six has just exploded again. There we go. Stop now. 30. Three zero. He's, <laughs> he's suicidal. Like, he knew that he was done... And at some point, close to the time that he knew he was done, because you guys had figured out that he'd been taken from the company, and he figured out also what was going on with this. Mm -hmm. And he, this was his exit plan. He was going to take them out and then end himself or end himself trying to take them out. He's kind of just, for lack of better words, he's just done now. And parts of him are just kind of almost slipping into a very dark void. Mm -hmm. I love that what? note. So just to be clear, Morgana knew what was going on. That's exactly the scenario I painted. That would have been a lot tidier if you'd gone with my version of the story. Just saying. Morgana isn't saying that, though. <laughs> well... Um, I think at this point what we need are the police. Mm -hmm. I think it is indeed what we need is the police, and hand it all over to them. Somebody call the police! Morgana will try and appeal to Mark to suggest that with everything that's going on, if he dies in any unfortunate circumstances, it may reflect badly on the people who were part of his household. That's actually a very good one to go with. I like that. Because that'll actually work. Because the one thing he seems to be very attached to, maybe would be the right word, is the people who work for him. He's ex-military. He's loyal to those under his command. Yep. Very good. That is exactly it, Mr. Brad. So, um, somebody goes and gets the police. Yeah, August, do you want to go hit the payphone? Uh, I, I think we've got the rest of this in hand. Sure. I think um, I, think wait, I ought to at least on. remove them. Yeah, I was going to suggest, do you want to go secure the other body? I, I could, well, but I probably should get cleaned up. I mean, if the police are alive, I'm up to my arms, and um, they'll. I yeah, think they'll hold hands. there will be questions, be... but we'll explain what's going on. Okay. River's probably a little bloody too. I think you have extenuating circumstances, old boy. <laughs> All right, somebody goes and gets the the police called. And... Yeah, I will. Come I, the I, fuzz. Well, Garner will basically oh, suggest. I'm going to suggest we we take our prisoners, all three of them, to where the body is and get the police to come and meet us there. You guys start heading that way. Morgana, give me a perception check. Fifteen. 
five. Oh, shoot. All right. So who's doing what other than Morgana? As the, as you guys are walking back towards probably the, the dead body, because that's where you're headed. Walking back to Hilda's body. Who's doing what? I was going to say, <sighs> we're probably close to that sawbone. So, probably... You to try to go to the doctor? Yeah, nothing else. I, I could get, I could probably use getting patched up. Okay, so River's headed towards the doctor. Uh, Nigel's apparently saying something smart. <laughs> I'm just posting a reference for Hot Fuzz. I noticed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so at this point, I think I will maintain guard here over the uh, the captives. Okay, August. Uh, I thought I was going to go and alert the police, but if we're all going back... Police. Yeah, so, I thought that was the, the yeah, plan. So, Morgana, Nigel, Waymont... Is heading over to take care of the uh, the body. Although by take care of, I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, Probably just guard it from just probably, people yeah. scrounging. Keep, keep an eye on it until the police get here, and then and it's their they're problem. They're heading that way, too. Brad, give me a perception awareness check. Okay, all done. Uh, I got a six. I could throw karma. If you want, you can throw karma. Yeah, why not? Let's... Uh, that bumps it to an eight, so not much. It's enough. Mark has pulled a knife out of a jacket pocket, and it's going to probably be an initiative between the two of you um, to see who moves first. Oh, yippee. All right. Well, it liked me enough. I got an 11. A D10 rolled up. He has a 12. He has a 12. Yippee. He starts to slice his own throat. Uh, Your turn. I probably aren't. I'm not going to be able to stop him. He's pretty determined that this was the end for him. Morgana. As he's as his body starts to fall, that's when you kind of like wait, what the heck? But you can feel something in your hand, like he's given you something. As he falls forward. Morgana will close a hand round it, not think to look at it, rush and try and stop him bleeding out. Uh, possibly by, by calling him, call, while calling him a silly person, you weren't supposed to die. Do you have any medicine at all? Absolutely not. Okay. So, in your hand, though, is some sort of piece of paper which you can look at when you feel like looking at it. Yes. So now you have two prisoners and another not with us anymore. <laughs> two prisoners and two bodies. Yeah. By the time you guys get back with all of this to where Hilda's body is, the police are like all up in this now. Well, at least now Mark and Grandad can have a cage match or whatever they do. <laughs> <Probably>. <laughs> I can see that, though. I can see him going there. Someone send a note to James. Send a note to James. Don't go there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> or just, you know, for, to organize and sell tickets. <laughs> All right. So Explain there's gonna be, there's gonna be some not... testimony going on here. Oh yeah, you guys are all gonna get separated and questioned, but you guys are all in the clear, even River. 
because technically the viewed as they were criminals and the police don't care so much if you killed the criminals. Matter of fact, if they're the police, they are all but commending themselves on what a great job they did on stopping all of this. <laughs> it's totally they're gonna try to take credit for it. Just I'm just yeah, okay. I don't care so long as I get paid. Well, you got to pay that uh, doctor for stitching you up a bit. You are, however, I believe you you don't feel great. I mean, you aren't bad, bad. You had a wound, but you, it doesn't make you feel super great. Uh, I was five away from Hong Kong. Oh, then you, yeah, you don't feel super great. I mean, the doctor patched you up, it's still, but you've lost a lot of blood and stuff. You, you don't feel super great. Darn police asking all these questions when really what you want is something to eat and to go to sleep. Women literally died in my arms. Yeah, this has been a little traumatic for everybody but River, it sounds like. <laughs> River uh, <laughs> seems to be freaking okay with it. <sighs> Criminals, <One>. shum. <laughs> Morgana, do you do you read the note at some point? Morgana will read the note, yes. You can even find a moment where no one's really paying attention. You can kind of slip off around the corner type of thing if you want to read it in private. Um, probably read it quietly off to one side while the police are talking to other people. Basically, it's a to whom it concerns, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I got so mad. I'm sorry I did what I did. Understand, it was never about the money. Understand that the money went to good causes. I was just angry. However, I would never allow our people to be slaughtered like that. And I can't allow it even now. Make sure the staff knows it's not their fault. Tell them I'm sorry. And then he just signs his name. The... If Morgana gets a moment before we're... Because I presume the police are looking at everything and... Yeah. They're, doing they're... That, after she's read the note, she will quickly go around and tell people not to mention Mark's money laundering to the police. It's not relevant to them, their involvement in the situation. Do the rest of you agree not to do that? Oh, all right. The company's gonna get interviewed for that anyway. I mean, technically, the only person in the company who knows about it is either dead grandpa or Edmund Eddington. And he's most certainly he going to get interviewed. Well, and, yes, but and, I'm going to deliver and, the note to Edmonton at some point. So Eddington at some yeah. point. There's yeah, a but... good chance that Morgana can get the note to him beforehand. It doesn't actually have to become public. If you guys all agree not to say anything, and the note gets to Eddington, there's a chance that it doesn't become public. It's his company, his business. Yeah, companies hide stuff all the time. Yeah, it's just... And it, pro and and it protects taking... Mark's old employees. Yes, to, but we're taking a, a gamble, because if he does decide to go to the police, then we can help liable for withholding evidence. I'm but handing him the evidence and talking to him. The police aren't arresting us involved uh, about money laundering in this. It's a different case. Mm -hmm. Mark was a fine, upstanding gentleman who uh, helps uh, solve uh, the issue of people murdering their employees. I don't know that I would agree, but I'm not going to sabotage the effort. I will also say this. Because it's a privately owned company, the profit that was taken, the only person it truly hurts is Eddington and his family. However, he wants that to look. And I will say that you can very easily talk to Eddington before the police do. That's true. Charlie may have totally been a dupe. And that's very, very possible. Notice she's not here as part of the heist. 
<laughs> By the way, the the flowers notes that you had seen that were signed with a J. Henry's last name starts with a J. I don't think anybody ever got there. But <laughs> so, um, so it seems like you've all agreed not to mention that, and you're going to talk to Eddington. That is Morgana's plan. Yes, she's good. If Eddington wants to do something about it, that's fine. But we we were employed to stop the theft for a start, so. Yeah, so I mean, as far as our job is concerned, it's done. Although I think we should probably clean up once we're done with the police before we head back. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, do you want to head back? Do you want to, like, just so I know the order of operation. Clean up, go back to the company. Clean up, go back and try to talk to Eddington. And then go to the company. Well, Eddington is the company we're working for well, right now. Sorry, so. I meant the... The, the company that you technically work for, not the company you are The, the investigation with. office. Yeah, no, it, it, yeah. We'd, we'd go talk to Eddington, I think, next. So mm -hmm. Clean up yes. and talk to Eddington? Okay. I will also yeah. say we are 20 minutes past. Are we good to go for a little bit longer so you can at least finish talking to Eddington? Yeah, let's, we let's, take a break? let's wrap Please. the scene, I think. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. So you guys clean up. And Eddington is at home at this hour. You guys have a way to, you know where his address is part of your file so you guys can show up to his house it's fairly late especially after you clean up and talk to yeah. the police and all that stuff however as much as the the butler gives you guys the dirtiest of looks eddington once he realizes who's here is very eager that you guys be shown into a room and be brought anything you need while he quickly dons on clothes and comes downstairs because he's a gentleman so he's not just coming down in his pjs That would be scandalous. It would be. He's not scandalous. There's ladies in the room. Morgana would probably compete and will do her best to compete in a poisonous looks looks contest with the but butler. Yeah. Um, I know Still I'm not going to win that. They were butler. It's their specialty, but you know, she's going <laughs> to. She's used to butlers giving her deck. So he comes down. You guys have been offered tea wine, scotch, whatever it is you want. And he, um... At this point, he, having he, a drink probably wouldn't be a bad thing. Scotch, please. <laughs> so you guys have all been given drinks. The butler has been shooed off and told he can just go back to bed. It can be cleaned up in the morning. Don't worry about anything. It's it's fine. He'll show you out himself. Which gets an eyebrow, like an eyebrow raise. But the butler's tired and wants to go back to bed, so... He goes away. You have news. I would say yes. we have a resolution, although perhaps not the one we were hoping for. And the yes, and not both news, both good and bad. Firstly, He's a little confused, but okay. He doesn't say anything. He just looks a little confused. We. Managed to intercept the, the attempted robbery of your shipment tonight. Well, I mean, that that's good, right? Yeah. Unfortunately, the perpetrators were Henry, Sarah, and Hilda from your sales room. It actually takes a moment. Like, he doesn't totally realize who they are as he's like they... really <laughs> but he seems like a nice man he, he, he seemed like a nice man I, I, I can't a say charming he friend. terribly well he, he kind of nods like yeah he's very charming <laughs> seemed like a nice man <laughs> I think Henry had drawn the others into it in the in the resulting fray Hilda was killed oh. Henry and Sarah are currently in police custody and Mark also 
was involved, though he was trying to stop the thieves. He took... I cannot speak to the reasons behind his laundering money from the company, but he took offense at how the thie- what the thieves had done and was trying to stop them. Unfortunately, after the situation was closed, he he took his own life. Before he did that, he gave me this. I will hand him the note. His hand shakes a little bit as he reaches out for the note. And before he opens it, he gets up and goes to the bar and pours a rather stiff scotch himself. All but downs it in one gulp just before he opens it. Like, stealing his nerves. And then he he, he sits back down and he reads the note. <coughs> and it doesn't take, you know, a, a skill check to see... the sense of loss that Eddington has. And he's, Mark's been a fixture at the company my entire life. I I never thought that it would hurt him so bad that I wanted to be involved. I, I, if he had said something, maybe. I. I. I I mean, I, I cannot speak to the entirety of his motives, but what I saw of his house, how he has tripped his staff. He was a proud man. I always thought of him as a good man. But he was also a proud man. Good people can do foolish things and make terrible mistakes just as anyone can. I'm... Do do the police know? They don't. It was not relevant to the situation we'd called them into, the actual crimes. I wanted to let you know before you made any decisions about pursuing any prosecutions against him. I'd hoped you would be able to do it. I wouldn't have done it. I'd hoped you'd be able to do it to a living person, but I don't think he could live with what he had done anymore. Eddington is trying to steal himself, you know, trying to stiff upper lip this, but he's been very blindsided by this entire thing. And he just kind of gets back up, pours another drink, sits back down, takes a couple of sips this time, and says thank you. I appreciate your service. I appreciate all the work you've done. I will make sure that you are... Um, that I, I um, tell your company what a, a, a good job you've done. But he's not actually looking at any one of you in particular as he says it. It's more like... To a certain degree, it's, it reminds you slightly of how lost Mark looked for a minute. Not to the point where you think he's going to harm himself type of thing, but just that that sense of, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I am just sort of waiting for him to finish with, now get out of my house and never come back. (laughs) (laughs) I want to point out, do be aware, Charlie was implicated. Her involvement may not have been voluntary it seemed like it was more coercion but be aware for as you proceed forward i i see (coughs) again i i i thank you um it's it's very late i'm sure you would 
rather not be here. Um, no, quite. I, uh, I have things to do. I'm sorry we couldn't come to a better conclusion of this matter. I, I appreciate your... Um, I, I, um, everything, I suppose. And he kind of leads you guys out, back out through the front door. Yeah, I think that's all we really needed to to worry about there. You guys are, you guys are now, pretty much done with the scene. You know, there you go. There's your conclusion for what it's worth. How bad did I scar all of you today? I'm fine, but I am gonna spend some XP. (laughs) Well, God's gonna go get drunk somewhere, I suspect. Brad, how much is a spell? How much is a spell? Uh, Depends on what you're looking to learn. But yeah, I can get you the the rule book here. I want to know how much it would be to learn heal. (laughs) Yes. Because I have suddenly realized that there is a glaring (laughs) deficiency in the party. Now, of course, the total on the AP does not reflect individuals getting extra AP for reasons. Which I know. Was that sorry? That... Sorry, the total AP does not reflect individuals. So, like, Morgana got an extra 100 AP, and I think August did? Yeah, I did too. Yeah. Yeah. I so can realize. It doesn't count those individuals ones. I think it's 800 for a novice spell. Yeah, I was just gonna copy the uh, the page over here. One second. There you go. Yeah, I've I've taken to record your experience with a group total, and then then a little plus for any extra little bits we've got, just for keeping track of stuff better. That's that's a good idea. I just folded them so that they're easier to spot in the thing. Eight hundred. 800 of my XP's. I can do it. <laughs> so, so um, I, I believe Morgana wants everyone to know that she was right. <laughs> she doesn't, but, <laughs> you know, she's actually Very not. Phrase. Morgana phrase doesn't. Phrase. Joel, Joel wants to know that, that his yes. was correct. There, is that fair? Is that better? Get, That's fair, yeah. It's, it's completely me, not, not Morgana. Morgana is... Right. Joel would like everyone to know that his character was right. <laughs> hey, I agree with Joel, Joel's hard sentiment. So the rest of you, good story? Happy with it? Yep. Yeah, happy. Nice. Need, need yeah to that was really some, cool. Some XPs, because I'm starting to get worried that we might die if I don't. <laughs> 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 Weapons can become very deadly very quickly. Yeah, especially uh, yes. the guns. Yes, they they become very very lethal very very fast. Yeah, just being hit by a gun isn't that bad. Guns with good successes are horrible. I feel like that there might be some uh, party discussions next game about the manner in which they try to stop people. I feel like that that might happen, River. Y- 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 yes. Y- yes, quite probably. Yeah. Mm, the whole yeah, the shoot finale. first, ask questions later. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Morgana was definitely pro stopping the thieves, but definitely you know, stopping and apprehending. Yes, that's, that's the idea I was going with. Dead bodies get us in trouble with the police. What we need to get River is a bola. A bo- there you go. Because <laughs> now you can throw that at people and tie them up. And yeah, not shoot but them. Have... But then I have to learn how to do thrown weapons. Yeah, that's a thing. Okay. You have XP. So... Get to it. <laughs> uh, I think if you haven't already stopped the recording, we should stop the recording. So we oh. should say goodbye. Well, I still have the, uh, yeah, no, the, the recording's still up. Um, before we drop off, I got Sonny's present. Do we want to see him? Yes. Let me put the... Here, I will. 
I always want to see dogs. What are you talking about? Let me get the camera turned on here. Okay. And I will switch over to there so that everybody can see me. Yes, there's Sonny. Hello, Sonny. Do you want your birthday yeah. present? You yes, want Sonny. your present? I gotta open it up. Sonny wants that meteor attention. That's what Sonny wants. Well, yes, he does, but he wants his present. <laughs> oh, you see it. Hang on, I gotta get, hang on, I gotta trim it. That dog loves the camera. I have learned in <laughs> writers' meetings. He he has fans, and he knows how to, to play to them. Let's see, let me trim this off, because it's going up inside the, the paws here. Like sewn into the thing. Oh, did we get XP today, by the way? Just checking. It's uh, on the thing. It's on the thing. On the Got uh, it. there. On the. We the, got the, 500 the each box. to take our total. To... Okay. We got 500 each. Get a bunny. For Every... a total of 2,600. You get your bunny. Got it. <laughs> oh, you gonna get him? <laughs> <laughs> you get more and more excited. <laughs> That's your bunny. That's for you. Oh, he's going to go lay it out with him now. <laughs> well, it's his bunny. <laughs> you going to take a nap now? Did you get a bunny? Yeah. Did you get one? Oh, yeah. No, he's running off to the front room. <laughs> okay. I will close off the camera here. <laughs> All right, I well, we will... I did a very good job. Well, I will wrap the recording, so uh, thank you once again for everybody who has tuned in. If you didn't get a chance to check it earlier, please do check out the uh, Kickstarter we have currently for Maps of London and for the Sard Sourcebook. Uh, there are five days left, so definitely uh, get your, your pledges in there if you're intending to. Um, right now, we're, we're trying to push to see if we can get the, uh, the, the stretch goal for the medal, and I will have a post coming out about that later today. Uh, yeah, I want to see the metal. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching, and we will catch you in the next one.